Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, our Monday night game of Mutants and Masterminds. Of course, this evening we are uh, bypassing our regular scheduled game of uh, Cape City Chronicles for the second part of the Valiant Adventure. Um, let's see. Before we jump into tonight's game, I do want to give a couple, you know, a couple shout-outs. First things first is Roll Twenty. It allows us to share that artwork you see in the middle of the screen there. Also gives us some situational awareness during combat, and uh, also puts some maps out that our GMs or, or even the uh, company itself may have produced and put out there for us to use. Um, let's see. Currently, of course, we're not using uh, tokens that are created through Hero Forge, but we do on most of our games. If you haven't had a chance, go to HeroForge.com and check them out. You can create custom miniatures that you can have sent to your place. Or you can get the, uh, if you got a 3D printer yourself, you can get the program for the 3D print to print out as many of that one figure as you'd like to have. But if you're also a subscriber to them, you can make a digital copy that you can use in your digital game, such as Roll20, uh, Fantasy Grounds, and Foundry, I think is the other one. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, we have Gooey Cube. If you have not had a chance to go to check out GooeyCube.com, they just finished a uh, great Kickstarter for the newest um, uh, material they've got coming out called the, to the Tomb of Geisengax, a tribute to uh, Gary Gygax with the assistance of Luke Gygax and uh, Alphineas working together and uh, Ed Greenwood also worked on something that goes with it. Uh, we or they were able to raise up over $600,000 before it went out. So they got plenty of stretch goals that they earned from it so it should be available on their store before long. Yeah, check out GooeyCube.com to see what they've got. We have two sponsors. The first one is W Energy. W Energy is a good manufacturing practice certified product formulated to give you focus without the jitters or crash. It has no calories, no sugars, and no fillers. If you use the code roll hit die at checkout, you can get 10% off your purchase. Our other sponsor is Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle is a website that sells games, ebooks, software, and other digital products. Their mission is to support charity while providing awesome content. Use the same code, roll hit die, to let them know where you heard about them from. Uh, you can find them at humblebundle.com and you can find W Energy at W.gg. Uh, let's see, if you're watching us on Twitch, there are a few things taken into consideration. First and foremost, down below, you'll notice we have a little bio, it tells you a little bit about us, some of the games we play. It's got two links down there. One is Extra Life and one is our website. Of course, Extra Life is the main one that I'm concerned with because it allows you to go to their website and give to the Children's Miracle Network and the Children's Hospitals at any point in time throughout the year when you can and when you'd like to. Uh, of course, we do have the website. It's still under construction. Things, you know, changing every day. But the shop is still open and active, so you can go click on that shop and you can get swag based off the Roll Hit Die emblem, like the one at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, or some other designs that are thrown in there. Uh, including some from our previous Mutant and Masterminds game, Army Corps. Well, I mean, it was actually something else, but Army Corps is the name of the shirt because our entire crew uh, worked for a uh, very rich and powerful armadillo. Yeah, it's not weird at all. Um, also, we have some from our a Vampire the Masquerade games, uh, either our One Shot and our uh, Kindred of Savannah. So go check all that out. Uh, let's see... If you're watching us on Twitch as well, you'll notice down by the chat bar, there's a little icon that looks like a bubble. At least on my screen it does. We call that a chaos bubble. The more you watch us and participate in the chat, however the algorithm works, I don't know, I'm not uh, real privy to all that, but I do know you gain points the longer you watch our program. Those points can be collected and spent on our D&D games, such as the one we have on Sunday nights, and also the one we have coming in the near future. You can cause chaos by spending points and doing different things to our characters or our GM in those particular games. So collect those points and save them to cause that chaos. Because Lord knows the GMs and the players are already chaotic, but we'd like to have our viewers join in on that chaos. Let's see. I think that's it as far as any of my announcements and concerns are concerned. Uh, unless anybody else has anything you'd like to throw in there and add. Crickets means no. So I will hand it off to Gerald to jump us into tonight's episode of Mutants and Masterminds. Well, hey folks, how's it going out there? Uh, I, when last we left off, our super-powered Valiant heroes had fought their way through some robbers uh, who were uh, breaking into the uh, Rook, Rook Center for Innovation. Uh, that, uh, and, uh, 
once they finished off the bad guys uh, and went to examine what exactly it was that they were breaking into to try to steal, uh, their alarm went off and they woke up as unpowered teenagers. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Uh, there's a lot of those in the world. And we sort of tracked them on their way to school where luckily on this day they were going on a field trip. Where was the field trip, you might ask? Well, the Rook Center for Innovation, of course. Uh, on the way there, some of our uh, unpowered protagonists uh, noticed uh, an odd symbol that kept popping up, a zero with a slash across it. Uh, and, I mean, there's no reason that was weird. But when they got to school, something weird actually did happen. All of them, separately, heard a voice. A woman's voice saying, You have to find them. You have to save them. But they couldn't figure out where the voice was coming from. Uh, I just need some coffee. Probably. Mm. That's probably what it is. I just look around to see if somebody's got their iPhone watching some TikTok video or something. Probably what it is. It's it's definitely something like that. I mean, it's that or it's 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 the it's the chips that are in the cell phones are you know they're messing with your cerebral cortex, and causing weird things to happen. Right. Uh, Mason uh, has a bit of a fascination with uh, fringe ideology. We'll call it. I mean, it's not really considered French if it's true, right? Sure. I mean, just because, you know, just because you say, you know, it's a conspiracy, it doesn't mean they're not out to get you. Right. I mean, you know, like, you know, there's that thing overseas where they had the supervillain attack uh, that big congregation of Russians and they blamed it on the Ukrainians. And said it was the uh, uh, that that terrorist group somewhere that was actually taking credit for it, but we all know it was the CIA since some super guy in there to do all the damage. It's always the CIA. Hard to argue with that one. <laughs> so, as you get to school and sort of sort yourself according to homeroom. Uh, and get situated to go on your uh, field trip. Your teachers put you all into groups. The goal of these groups is so there's always someone who knows who's there and who's not. So it's not one teacher watching 20 kids. It's five kids watching each other. Oh yeah, that's, okay. that sounds and, you real know, responsible. Each teacher has control of three groups, and um, so it's not so much of a burden because three is a much smaller, or, you know, excuse me, uh, each teacher has control of five groups. Five's a much smaller number than 25, so it works better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's that new core math they use. Right. So, you all get on the buses, and you have to sit in your little groups, too. Really? Do I have to? Yes, you have to. I don't want to have to sit next to him. Yeah. He's a jock. Right? Always smells like dirt. Won't take that long. Just cross town. It won't take very long to get there. So, you load the buses, you sort yourself in uh, your various seats, and so, uh, do any of you know each other? Are any of you friends? Pro probably just Lance knows each other from class, but Mason is, well, he, he's the weird kid. Yeah. So he doesn't really associate too much with anybody else. He usually just like 
when he's on the bus, he'll slink down in the seat, put his knees up on the seat in front of him, and just look up the what newest thing he it's a conspiracy in his phone. Right. And he's got that so, podcast, you know, Conspiracies R Us or whatever the hell it's called. Right. Conspiracy but, of the week. Yeah, yeah. Um so, but as far as knowing, I mean, being friends with any of these people, not really. So how about anybody else? Anybody got friends among the group? Well, thinking um, in terms of what I read about um, Ace, he probably knows you know, who everyone is, hmm. but... Um, Sorry, guys. Not sure if he's like friends with anyone in his team. Did we have yeah. Captain Crunch with us? Captain Crunch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there. Patrick is playing Captain Crunch. Okay. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I might know him by his gamer tag. Well, it's more of a handle. <laughs> it's not something I. Publicly, that's just my identity online. Yeah, it's the only way I would have known uh, Captain Crunch is probably, you know, on the online chats and playing games, MOs, and all that. Okay, but you wouldn't know it was me. No. Okay. Uh, not yet. <laughs> mm. All right. Anybody else? Julie Mendez probably spends quite a bit of time. Uh, kind of getting to know everybody, trying to be friends with everyone up to the point that they're comfortable with. So she's probably well associated with everyone from the perspective of she does well in class, she's the type that will share her notes before the first bell, that kind of a thing. Uh, but her favorite time is gym class. Um, and if anybody ever gets injured or needs to be taken to the, to the like uh, nurse's office, she's the first one to volunteer. It's got to be a setup, right? Her, she, it, it, she's just too nice. It's, she's probably setting somebody up so her boyfriend can come beat him up. It's an NSA plant. That's just a hall monitor and has turned you all in. <laughs> At least once. <laughs> At least once. Now I kind of feel fetches. Okay. She did apply to get the hall monitor role and was denied because she spent too much time in the nurse's office and became the nurse's aide. Similar to Julia, I think Fetch is kind of in that same ballpark. She, based on the bio they gave, she's a friendly person, and but most likely more about studies than anything else. Okay. Uh, so all that was set up for. Uh, are you guys talking to one another about that weird dream you had last night, where you were all superheroes, or where you were a superhero and you were fighting? Uh, in the Rook Center for Innovation, where you are headed right now? Uh, depends upon who's being nosy, because uh, Mason's probably typing in in one of those conspiracy chats of his. As far as talking to the other students about it, probably not. In the same vein, I don't know that Fetch would bring that up. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'd bring up the fact that I just had this weird dream. Right. Julie is absolutely telling the person, whoever's sitting next to her, about her weird dream last night and how she could, like, I could sense people through walls and, like, like heal them. It was crazy. Well, um... I'll... Let's just assume Ace is sitting beside you and he goes, uh, really, um... I, I had a dream also, um, but you know it. I yeah I knew we were coming, so I I just had a dream and. Wait a second! In in your dream, like you had the same, the same like like bandit villain situation robbery thing going on. Yeah, but I mean, you know, if That's you watch so the news, weird. there's always some type of... so weird. 
Well, there's always some type of super villain, you know, attacking something on uh, on the news. So I don't think it's that you know crazy. Well, we had no, the same kind of dream. Well, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but in my dream there was that something in a vault. I didn't, I didn't get a good, good good chance to see what it was, but I mean. Of course, Man of War just flew right through the window and carried a guy out and dropped him. Wow. That was in my dream, too. Kind of remember that. The way I remember it, that guy held on for dear life, and Man of War did not get him. <laughs> Wait, we all had the same... Wait, how many of us are there? So I start, I start thing? doing a Google search to see if there might, maybe there was a news broadcast last night that was, uh, to see if there was a, like some sort of news report that came out last night on TV and maybe we all saw it and, and affected our dream or what. I'm not leaning over the seat over your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you do find something about superheroes fighting some big name supervillain somewhere else, wherever they do superhero stuff around here. <laughs> But check uh, to see if it was Man of War and I forget the other characters' names to be honest with you. I mean, Ninja, there was that ninja Hector guy Man and uh, Doctor Mirage was there. There you go. And uh, Shadow uh, Man was there too. Shadow Man. Shadow Man was there. Well, in my dream, he was. I mean, he made everything go black at, at one point in time. Yeah. Wow. I was in that. I couldn't see anything. I, don't know, I remember throwing the. She kind of opens her book and starts to take notes, and you can see in the margins there's like little shadows drawn. <laughs> She's a little bit of a Shadow Man fan. Uh, well, Wait, now we can't all well, have the know, same dream, but there's nothing listed on the on the on the Zoogle search that that says anything about like some sort of news broadcast. So, how much do you want to bet? Like they were having this fight and the ripple effects of some sort of power we don't understand hit our brain waves and we just got a vision all at the same time. I wonder if other people on the bus had the same vision. It's gotta be what it is. There's no it's, other way. Wait a minute, are you on the yeah. chat line? Are you on the chat lines? Because we've it's had conversations finish. about that before that all these superpower peoples or abilities would cause, you know, brainwave issues with every you know, all us normal people. Okay, there we go, Mason. That's what I expected. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's right here. Look, see, and he shows you some yeah. chat bar that he's been a part of. Oh, yeah, okay. Hell yeah. That's. You know, that was my first thought, too. But Clover I Greenfield says it every week, see? <laughs> I looked it up earlier, and there was no psionic like, interference last night. Huh. I think that homeless guy out there in uh, Cape City had it correct, you know, go to wear the tinfoil hats and shit. No, it's not Didn't you get kidnapped? Weren't there kidnappings out in Cape City? No, those are government experiments. There was no kidnappings. This is just all a cover-up. Great. Cape City's now in the Valiant Universe. <laughs> I don't know if you want that to happen. <laughs> Probably not. That's pretty brutal over there. <laughs> the things that go bump in the night. But is no, we've already established that there's no other superheroes in the vein, in that universe. I mean, there are. They're just they're tightly controlled. Mm-hmm. All right. So you pull up to the to the building, and you guys, you guys have seen this building before. It's. You know, it's right on a corner between, you know, an intersection of two streets. It's, I mean, you've driven past it a bunch of times. But it doesn't look like it looked in your dream. It's not even six stories. I'll it's talk. only three. And I bet like, you the other three are invisible. That's theory. No, it was, was it a it, Steve Winwood higher love. It was just a dream. I mean, it's kind of weird that we all had the same one. It's very weird. That is odd. Yeah. Your mic. 
I'm sure there's some logical reason. The government yeah, beamed it yes. into our brains. They got some device that makes us have dreams. I, I, it's kind I of a control sure, system. I'm sure somebody, you know, that there's logical reason. Are you going to ask around and see if anybody else had the same dream? About I'll, the let, same the, I'll let the mind beam. I'll let the cool kids do it. Character's definitely not one of the cool kids. I mean, Ace is. He's a there jock, go. anyway. Anybody? You know, the sport, sporty kinds are always the cool kids at school. It says Fetch is a friendly person, so I'll just turn back to the people behind me. Hey, did you have a weird dream last night? You know, you never want to ask a kid that. I just remember that. Uh, you know about your mom. <laughs> the dude you asked it to looked up, looks up at you, uh, blushes a little. And ducks his head back down. I don't think he had the same dream. <laughs> I could probably guess what his dream was. I'm going to keep looking it up on my uh, phone. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah I don't think he had the same exactly dream. What exactly are you looking up? Well, <clears throat> yeah, he did not have the same dream. <laughs> <laughs> so I have an algorithm that allows me to search for certain keywords within a specific range, like people mentioning keywords. Uh, in this case, I have everybody in the high school, like, isolated. So okay. I could search the entire high school without having to physically talk to people. So I'm looking for tweets, uh, blogs, any mention of the word dreams that happen between uh, the morning and last night, or I mean, and today. So you're the government. <laughs> I'm not uh, the government. Or official. <laughs> True. So you put in your search parameters, and you are searching for anybody in your school that has mentioned anything about dreams. Basically, this morning. Yep. Well, he'll. Uh, uh, He'll find at least one. Yeah. In a conspiracy chat line. <laughs> uh Well, I mean, that wouldn't necessarily. Do you use your real name in that? No, but he was looking for anything that mentioned dreams. Yeah, but he was only looking for people in your school that mentioned it. I'm sure he's not going to pick up some sort of IP address or whatever. Because not everybody in school uses their names when they get online. They use a yeah, no, list. No, this has been a painstaking process to find everybody's online identity. Okay. Uh, then he would have had it. <laughs> make me an expertise computers role. Okay. No, everybody, if it's not on your sheet, make sure you mark down that you have one hero point. Excuse me. All right. Uh, so you do find it. And yes, there's uh, there's actually a couple. There's one on a conspiracy chat talking about shared dreams and government uh, mind wave beams. I know exactly who this is. I subscribe to the podcast. Right. Uh, and then there's another one. Uh, there is a girl in your class uh, that shared a meme this morning about following your dreams. Uh, and then it specifically mentions the Rook Center for Innovation. Okay, that is bizarre. Who was this? Uh, her name is Stephanie. Yeah, it sounds like she's doing inspirational stuff. Yeah, she didn't make the meme. It's one of those, like, probably from some, like, meme generator somewhere. There's a, post, there's a post below that where you can see Panis, uh, Julie has commented, Oh my gosh, I had this, this crazy dream about this place last night myself. 
and it's totally got to be something about fate, and there's an astrology link. <laughs> no. No. Uh, Alright, whatever. Um, I'm going to go after this uh, step in person and yeah. see if there's you know, a prophet or Uh, you, you're familiar-ish with Stephanie. You had homeroom in ninth grade, which, yeah. for reference, was last year. Oh my god! Um, uh, but it seems like a long time ago, because you're 16, and a year is a long fucking time when you're 16. Uh, but and she is she's on the bus. She's a few rows ahead of you. Uh, so do you just walk up? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. This is not okay. what I know about. So, what's, what's the opener? I'm, uh, I'm really just going to go right to the point. I'm just gonna say hi and then turn my phone around to our post. Did you post this this morning? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's right there. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm just wondering what in particular has you thinking about drinking at the moment. Oh, see, uh, the Center for Innovation does an internship senior year, and uh, they say that they pick all the interns from the sophomores that come. So, like, if I can uh, if I can make a good impression on them today, then I'll have that internship for senior year, and I might get to work there. Okay, so... It's like a dream of mine. talking about, like, our insipid aspirations, not necessarily dreams like you have in your story. Yeah. Okay, nice talking to you, Stephanie. It's the most realistic <laughs> response. Hi, <laughs> okay. Kevin. Yeah. He's so weird. <laughs> That'll work. Okay, well, I found out what I need to know. Then Ace walks up to her. I put the STD in stud. Now all I need is you. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Classic job. Does that actually yeah. work? No. <laughs> no. No, this is I Mason know. asking. That is how STDs work, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, as Mason chime in, does that actually work? <laughs> Do girls actually hey. fall for that? Is our body? <laughs> no. <laughs> that you would be amazed. <laughs> Pick up lines not to use. I have the yes. sheet. <laughs> she please looking to one of the other girls who overheard it, and they share the look of, oh, yeah. God. Five rows apart. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Just the slow nada. Yep. And we have to deal with them until senior year. Because this is my group. This that was really bad shit. That was That wasn't cool. <laughs> That's all right. So they park the bus, and well, they stop the bus. There's not a parking lot big enough to park a bus in that's not being used for people who actually work there. So they stop the bus and they unload you all. The teachers are like, all right, stay in your groups. Make sure, like right now, look around, check everybody. Make sure everybody got off the bus. Do you have your phone? Do you have your charger? Do you have your water bottle? Uh, do you have everything you're going to need because we're not coming back to the bus? The bus isn't going to be here, so make sure you have all of your stuff. Do you have all of your stuff? If anybody leaves to get back on the bus to get their stuff, that group stays by the bus until they come back. Does everybody understand? And everybody goes, <laughs> and like six kids run back on the bus to get god knows whatever 
uh, dropped an AirPod or forgot my jacket or whatever. Someone in the corner goes, womp, womp. Yeah. So eventually you make it inside the building. And the front of the building is like this big, like, solid glass wall. Uh, so you can see inside, and it's like very, very open space, open concept kind of thing with all these columns. And there's just this desk that kind of sticks out across the middle, excuse me, across the middle of the room. And uh, there are three people sitting at the desk. And uh, you, you all get let in, and uh, a couple of the teachers go up and talk to the people at the desk, and you're all kind of milling around. And there's there's a few like little like chairs along the wall, and some people sit down, and like teachers are like ah ah get up, get up. We're not staying here. Don't get comfortable. Um, and. Uh, One of the one of the uh, the people from behind the desk comes over and uh, addresses everybody and is like, "Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Rook Center for Innovation. Uh, in just a second, someone's going to bring you your uh, your ID badges, your temporary ID badges. They'll get you into all the places that you'll be going today on your tour. But please, everybody, be sure to stay with your tour groups." Uh, we will have a few tour guides leading uh, different groups. So uh, make sure you stay with your group. Make sure you all stay together. Don't get lost. Um, because it's a pretty big building and uh, some of the hallways can be a little confusing if you're not used to them. So please, everybody, stay together. Very, very important that you stay together. Um, it was bigger in my dream, but okay. And after a couple of minutes, someone comes out and they hand out like wads of these ID badges. They hand them to the teachers and the teachers kind of go around and like pass them out to all the different groups. And you get this, this blank ID badge just says Rook Center for Innovation on the front of it. And it's got the magnetic stripe on the back. Um, hand it to Captain. No, I'm kidding. Like get cold <clears throat> real quick. Hey, uh, hey, hey, upgrade this. And, uh, so, like, right as they're finishing passing out all the badges, uh, you hear the click-clack of high heel feet on tile floor. Uh, and you look up, all of you kind of look up at the same time, and you see a woman walking towards you, uh... She is... Let me find the description. Does she look like the villain from our dream? That's well, going to get there. <laughs> <laughs> My God, that's her. I don't know, sound like a you know, preteen, but I've dreamt about her last night. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. A slim blonde woman in a black skirted business suit approaches your group. Her blonde hair is up. She wears dark rimmed glasses. But it's the woman from your dream, the one in black leading the break-in of the Innovation Center. Hello, everyone, she says, holding a slim computer tablet to her chest in one arm. I'm Adele Poole, and I'll be your guide for this little excursion. She smiles widely. I just know you're going to learn a lot here. Shall we get started? Now, one thing you know, a couple of things you notice that are different, uh... In the dream, she was not wearing a business suit. She was wearing like a... Cat suit? Almost like a... No. Uh, almost like a, a like a tennis outfit. Like the tennis skirt. the Like the pleated tennis skirt. Uh, well, we are teenagers. We were dreaming about a, a woman. <laughs> right. Uh, and it had like a logo on the front, but you can't really remember what the logo was. Uh, she wasn't wearing glasses. She was wearing one of those little domino masks. Uh, and, you know, in the dream, she was, like, almost seven feet tall. So, it's a little different. She's only, like, five, six in real life. Or, like, now, if this is real. Um, so, a little bit of difference. I just look oh. at the others and, like, are you, are you seeing this? Yes. 
That's the mm-hmm. same woman from my dream. I mean, I mean, like her little sister. It could be real. Yeah. I mean, they could be sisters, mother, daughter, something like that. Yeah, it, it's a little freaky. Okay, Chinatown. It's my daughter. It's my sister. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to get her to take a class, like a group photo, for the yearbook. Like <laughs> for her to take a picture of all of you, or for you all no, to no, take no, a us picture with, with her. her. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a picture of the whole class with her. I don't mind it not being in picture. I really don't. Like, uh, <laughs> all right, uh, everybody, hold up your IDs. And she holds up her ID, and she kind of stands in the middle, and... Okay. I'm just yep. Okay. Anybody doing anything while you're all grouped together there? Everybody Mason say hair. dream! And, and <laughs> as, right before he clicks it, I'm just going to say, Mason, you and the CIA will see this. We're getting a glimpse into uh, his inner thoughts. He's not saying this. He's not actually doing it. But it's in his mind. Mm-hmm. The inner monologue goes crazy right now. Yeah, there's a... There's a girl, like, uh, with an afro near the end. He's very uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. Very. <laughs> so as soon as you say the CIA is going to see this, I turn my head real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big smile. You know, the white, gleaming white teeth show. All right, so you get your picture, uh, and uh, and then she turns around like anyone else, and everybody else is just kind of staring at you all. Well, that kid yeah. behind me on the bus I talked to, he wants a picture. I, I think we're good. <laughs> like, all right, everybody. Uh, Why is this trapper A? keeper in front of him like that? Never ask. Never ask. <laughs> I'm glad I hadn't taken a sip yet. <laughs> okay, now I need to uh, now I need to hack into a local law enforcement database uh, <laughs> so I can put her through facial recognition. With your phone. With my phone? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Uh, He's got an app he's created for that. Sure, yeah. Um, So I'm going to ask you for another computer's check. This one's going to be a bit more difficult. Yep. I would ask for... Yeah, the first click doesn't count. It never does. Right. Okay, uh, so you get into uh, some stuff. You're not all the way in, and you know you're not all the way in, but it's kind of hard to do uh, on your phone while you're walking. Yep. yep. Um, but you do, uh, you do get, like, uh, traffic tickets. She's got a bunch of speeding tickets. She has a really, like, expensive sports car. Did you say she was flying? <laughs> I don't say anything. She's got, just got a very heavy foot. Yeah, that's not messing around. If anything, this makes her, like, makes me think I have to defend her more. Jesus. Please don't let anyone taste your hair. It's like, it's like, I, I got pica, it's a real medical condition. No. I'm kidding, not so. I don't care. Oh, uh, yeah. Classic two days long. I don't care. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm going to keep searching. This is going to be what I'll be doing in the background for the time being. Okay. So she's like, all right, group A is going this way, group B is going this way, and you guys are in group C. Group C, yeah. you're with me. me. Um, Jesus, it's even better. <laughs> and you walk up, uh, you start walking up the stairs, um, 
like, all right, we're going to start with uh, the second floor. Uh, we're going to go up. There's there's labs for, and she starts going into, like, a bunch of these different projects that they're working on. Um, and none of it sounds interesting to a teenager. Like, they're not making, like, flying suits or, like, uh, super tanks or anything like that. They're making, like, oh, this is a, a, uh, adaptive prosthetic limb. This is a, uh... Oh, that's cool. Uh, not to a teenager, though. <laughs> I mean, unless the teenager happens to be real into medical shit. I mean, you know, I, I did play, uh, that, like, cyberpunk game uh, mm -hmm, yeah. when it came out. So that'd be kind of cool, you know, the robotic arms and, and such. Yeah, I, I'm pro more robots. So. Oh, you're one of those? Is it, I'm not saying... I'm not saying, like... We, we just need to increase the number of robots in the world, okay? It's just, there's not enough. I'm going to ask her how long she's worked here. Uh... Well, I've been here, gosh, I've been here almost since I was your age. My, my father is one of the, the, he's on the board of directors. So, uh, I, you know, I came my sophomore year for the tour and, uh, my senior year, I was, uh, one of the interns that was selected and, uh, instead of going to college, I started working here right out of high school. So I'm guessing you you probably don't like commercials for this, you know, for the this center. Uh, I wasn't in any of the commercials. I was, oh, you look uh, familiar. You don't have like uh, a sister or something, do you? No. Uh, now I was uh, not a commercial, but some of the uh, like pamphlets. Uh, I was in one of the pamphlets. Uh, I was wearing a lab coat, which was a little disingenuous. I don't actually work on anything. And to be honest, most of the people that work here don't wear lab coats because we actually have very few chemicals uh, that we work with in here. So the lab coat was, it was mostly for show, but whatever. Uh, yeah, but, that has to be it. Yeah. I wasn't, a, it's not a like commercial or anything, but. Uh, we are thinking about doing a, a, a YouTube channel and talking about some of the different things. Like uh, some of our some of our current interns have uh, have talked about that, uh, starting something like that. So, what do you guys got going on on the top floor? Well, we will get there after we finish the second floor. And uh, are there any subfloors in this building? Uh, you know, those like are. Uh, those are uh, more secure labs. We won't be going there today. Uh, oh, but you but, do have some. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where all the secret government stuff's done. We don't do any secret government stuff. How deep does it go? Uh, <laughs> let's just let's just focus on this floor. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's just cool that you got you know subfloors. That's neat. It's a it's a basement <laughs> oh okay you have basement. a subfloor gotcha a subfloor base it's labeled b on, on the elevator um <laughs> sure it is uh, can i just get a read on how <clears throat> comfortable or uncomfortable this woman is feeling right now with this current situation sure throw me a an insight roll damn nope. roll. holy <laughs> hell Honestly, okay. since I was kind of fishing, I'm going to do the same if that's all right, because I'm actually fishing to find out information yeah. uh, on her. So. Mm -hmm. Go down here, insight. Whoa. Okay. Bit of a swing there, bit of a swing. Right. Uh, so, yeah, she really doesn't want to talk about the basement or, or her flare. Or her flare. She does not want to talk about her flare. Uh, she is wearing the required pieces of flair, and if more pieces of flair are required, then they would be required. Uh, I'll, I'll so, shut up at that point. So, my point of view is, 
ah, oh, she's just, this is a normal day. She's just right. walking, going through the paces. And he's she's over got, here going. And she's got to mm. escort these teenage kids around. They're asking these very weird questions. And she's got her little, like, tablet. And she's scrolling through as, you, as you're walking past different rooms. And, like, here's where they're working on the prosthetics. And here's where they're working on uh, nanites that might be used for surgery one day. And here's where they're working on blah, 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 blah. All these different things. Uh, and, you know, the way she's looking at the tablet, like, it doesn't seem like she's 100% familiar with all this stuff. Um, the actual superheroes we dreamed about do actually exist, right, currently? Yes. Okay. It, he's just whispers to... to the... You know, group. You know, the more questions we ask, the longer we're gonna be here. Well, we're gonna be here all day anyway, right? I mean, we got a set schedule. Yeah, but I mean, do we really want to stay with the pathetic? I want to know what. I don't know. But the nanites are pretty cool. Ain't that? Think they got a hero that is like full of those things? Uh, okay. Are you handicap shaming? <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> no, no. That's what they say. Just... Hey, look, you know, I... it might interest some people. No, I get and, it. <clears throat> and this is where you see Panacea, uh, or Julia is like at the, the glass of the prosthetic thing. And she's kind of got her arm up looking, like pointing to the, like, different muscles that this thing would emulate, and she's just kind of fascinated by the prosthetic as they turn and go, See? Okay. And we're walking? Now, moving on? Yeah, and now realize there's like there's <clears throat> like 30 people in this group. Like in our group? Yeah. Okay, okay. So um, we're not the only ones asking weird questions. Right. Yeah. Uh, Does that have the strength of an orangutan? <laughs> Americans will do anything to keep them youth. <laughs> the strength of three orangutans. <laughs> so you, you walk through and she talks about this and she talks about that and you're walking through all these different hallways and uh, you know and here's this lab and here's that uh, you know here's this place where uh, here's kind of an open office space where you know this is where most of our computers are these are where the you know the open computers are uh, people can go and they can share their data with people who work in other centers that we're associated with. Okay. And uh, can we... So it's an office. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. It's like... <laughs> but without walls. Yeah. Is there... A... Ace looking around, is there a copy machine? It's about like a full Zoolander on it. The information is inside the computer. <laughs> uh, we we actually uh, use very little paper. Oh, okay. uh, everything we do, almost everything we do is digital. There, we, we do have a few things that we keep hard copies of. Uh, but most of that is done on the first floor. Any, any printing, actual physical printing is done on the first floor. But good question, good question. Very, uh, you know, net networking, uh, computer network architecture is a very, very important skill that so we it's also don't e really do here. It's also easier to erase the evidence if you have just an EMP to wipe out the entire system. Okay. Y'all remind me why I'm never going to become a high school teacher. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just and never like, gonna make it. She scrolls on her tablet a little bit, and it's like, uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, it makes it uh, you know a little easier to keep from being prosecuted for things you've done wrong. If it's all digital, you can just wipe it. There's no hard copies for the uh, 
FBI to come in and confiscate. What is your Google search like? Oh, he turns his phone around to his search, scrolling through everything. I'm sorry, Patrick, I can't hear you. Uh, is there anything you can do to raise your volume a little bit? You're very quiet. Okay, sure. Hang on. No, you learn something new every day. Yeah, apparently you can EMP somebody's office if you're up to shady shit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, they did that in New York a while back. Alright, how's that? Yeah. That's better. Way better. That's how they caused the stock market to crash. You don't remember that? Yeah, you know, I'm just thinking Sorry, there's something know. wrong with uh, Mason. Hold on. Uh, this is how bad it is for Mason, alright? Mm -hmm. I actually have the skill and eight points to it. <laughs> oh, God. The conspiracies. <laughs> yep. He knows them all. Alright, uh, what were you saying, Patrick? Uh, while she's distracted, would it be possible for me to sneak over to her computer? Uh, make me either a stealth or a deception check. Deception's terrible. Stealth is only slightly less terrible. Oof. Uh, she does not seem to notice you. Because she also rolled here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm going to get on the computer. Okay. <clears throat> so what you doing? Mm. <clears throat> I'm going to see if the... Uh, I'm mostly going to test out the security. I want to know if there's anything that I can't uh, access, like, just by being here. Yes. All right. Fantastic. There so, are a lot of, like, you start clicking on files and it asks for a password. It, it's weird because you don't actually log into the machine itself, but, like, for specific folders that are on, like, literally on the desktop. Like, you click it, and then it asks you for a password to get into that. Hmm. Okay. I mean, you could try to get through one of these passwords. Let me see what items I have on. You do not have your wingsuit. I assume that's much. Okay, I technically don't have any equipment on me. I do have gadget as a... Damn it. You do have gadget as an advantage, and if you tell me what kind of gadget you have, that can be your gadget. What are you trying to do? But. Okay, I have a... Uh, I have a USB that allows me to uh, basically to it's like a worm essentially you have a what a, a flash drive with a sifter uh, <clears throat> yeah I have a sifter code in it that allows me to put in a worm uh, put a worm on a system and then from there I can try hacking it with my phone it's like a brute okay. force attempt yeah. Yeah. But the main that... thing is, I have to have a way in, and then all the tools that I have on my phone, I can use as sort of like a mining tool, essentially. Okay. Um, so I'm going to ask you for another computer check. Okay. By the way, Patrick, just in case you, just like, yeah. I think your character actually has a skill. Mastery or whatever it's called. It is. Um, I don't think that's what it's called, but I don't know what it's actually called. 
no, it is skill, skill mastery. Expertise. It would be expertise computers. Yeah. Uh, mm. So if you want, you can just take 10 and add your computer skill on top of that to see if you hit it without having to roll. Or if you think you can roll and get higher than a 10. I think I can. So I'm going to try. Famous last words. <laughs> no! Oh, 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 literal oh, one. Oh, oh. I don't have a hero point, do I? You do. Everybody you start. starts with one. I will use it because I rolled a literal one. Yeah. Can only get better than this. Yep. I don't know if that's true. It, it, well, it can't get worse. So yeah. Well, I mean, that's there. the that's other side higher. of the spectrum. What the hell is going right. on? <laughs> <laughs> Hot damn, I'd say he found a way in. So, like, you start doing it and nothing's working, nothing's working, nothing's working. And you reach down and you jiggle the, the USB a little bit and it goes, boop, and you're in. Oh. And then all the other folders just start popping open. Oh my God. <laughs> Your phone's oh. like, download it. <laughs> you're oh, like, yeah. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Everything's so working as it's supposed to. Too well, what, even. What are you going to do with uh, with this? What are you going to uh, do with this uh, unfettered access? Oh, God. Uh, fucking, I'm not going to be listening to the poor. <laughs> <laughs> I have more important things to do. I could uh, probably... See, you're so in the network right now, you could probably remote into her tablet. Ooh, that's an idea. Um... Now, what that role lets you have is access to the files on this computer. Yeah, obviously. If you if you want to try to remote access anything else in the building, that's going to be another role. It's and fine. I've got to play the another you busy from this one computer, so I'll focus on that for the time being. And we're walking. We're walking. And we're walking. So is everybody else going? And uh, if I see him lagging behind, I'll go tell him to catch him. Come on, come on. here. I'll, I'll just do this. You know, I actually Please. see him, so I will hang back and go. Um, hey, Christopher, uh, it's time to go. Huh? Oh yeah, sure. So you don't have like time computers. to take everything. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Uh, they got the keywords. Uh, things I remember from the brain. Um, the re was it reactor. Uh, reactor was one. Act actuator. Yeah. Hold on a sec. I think I have. I don't remember her name ever being spoken in the dream. Do y'all? No. Oh, there you go. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Her name her was. Her name was spoken. Her name was mentioned. <clears throat> All right. So I have uh, a eidetic memory, which means right. that I can remember the dream pretty clearly. Okay. Now, if I had eidetic memory, and I could black remember sheep. all that I said last time. You, you mentioned to be in black sheep, didn't you? Maybe. I genuinely don't remember. That's been two weeks, and I have slept, like, probably six or more times since then. I'm going to need that number to go up, sir. Um, you ain't the only one. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you saying it, but I can't remember if you were saying it so the characters knew it. Yeah. It's the only difference. Uh, I mean, uh, we'll go with it, sure. Someone called her out by name, maybe. Okay. Or you know, if she had a, did she have like a sheep symbol on her outfit? It's very blurry in your dream. Like you know that she had some kind of symbol on her outfit, but it's. It's hazy. <clears throat> it's like when uh, when you're watching uh, an older movie and there's some kind of like 
brand name or something like that, and you know they're not paying for the advertising and they blur it out. Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of like that. That's what you remember it looking like. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick out the like the basic keywords I can remember from the dream and use that as a filter to decide what to draft. Okay. Uh, you remember somebody saying something about actuator. That's good. Okay. Yep. So that's not a, that's not a commonly used word. No, it's not. Uh, so you pick up four files that mention actuator and you just download all of those without really getting into what they are or anything like that. I love how these typical teenagers are like, we had a dream, now let's infiltrate this place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, as far as I can tell, we're in a world where superheroes and villains exist. If I can get an edge and, you know... Oh, I'm just waiting for you to get something myself. I can use in the uh, Conspiracy Podcast. Oh, fair enough. I know you'll find something I can use. It might be something small, I can just expand on it. They are just entire frontiers of science and technology that we aren't even getting to touch because we're not within this super heroic echelon. So anything I can get my hands on that allows me to reach that point, that's all I'm going to do. All right. And come back to the group. I'm totally a future villain, by the way. I mean, it's obvious. (laughs) <laughs> and we're walking we're walking we're walking and you you kind of you've done your circuit of the second floor and it's like all right everybody uh now we're gonna go up to the third floor uh and uh you know be careful in the stairwell uh don't spread out too much we want everybody to stay together but we are going to have to you know the hallways aren't wide enough for everybody to just come out so we're going to have to i'm going to go ahead and walk ahead uh and uh you all just follow along walk don't run use the handrails use the handrails be very careful on the steps oh yeah. uh, I love the fucking honor system. I'm out. <laughs> Try to sneak away. Alright. And is Captain Crunch going it alone? Uh, well, I don't really see... I don't really have the connection to anyone else. I mean, and if somebody sees me, then I guess... But, be I mean, somebody. you're in the buddy group. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, if you disappear, we all get in trouble. Fair enough. That's true. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to tap everybody on the shoulder and uh, just be like, hey, let's go see the unrestricted tool. Uh, what do you mean? Would you find something? Got... What yeah, he means really is go the do the things and... we're not supposed to do. You see Julie's see eyes face. light up. Can't do that. Uh, um, I guarantee you we can. It's super. Easy. No, I mean, we shouldn't do that. Oh, okay. Do we know this? So, are you coming or not? <laughs> uh, you know, we're getting left behind. That's Julie just kind of turns and looks at you and just kind of like, um, look, says, at least he's cool enough to do what he wants to do. Are you just? gonna follow the crowd look here's the thing all right i have well, yeah it. i don't know why i don't know what it means but it took place here that woman was in it and as we knew in the dream there were three or there were six floors right well maybe we should find an yes. elevator and see if there's like a secret pad to like you know run a badge on exactly. she was in it so shouldn't we be following her Trust me, if she's really going to be a problem, she'll come to us. As far as I'm concerned, whatever's worth hiding from here, it's in that basement. I want to see 
Yeah, but in the dream, uh, it was on the in the top sixth floor. Yeah, which the floor we're going to, right? Well, we're going to the, the top, top floor. floor. Yeah. He's well, making a speech. Dream logic. Maybe it's inverted. He's <laughs> convincing know. everyone. Can I feel the presence of the group through the walls, stepping further and further away? No, I don't think we have any abilities have yet. Because we don't have powers yet. Right. You can hear them. Okay, well then... They're walking up the stairs and... Uh, or, 30 or teenage teenagers quiet. Are not quiet. Yeah. Or be a teenage quiet. I think I hear you somebody... want to leave? <laughs> I think I hear somebody <laughs> counting. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know, I know that there was something in the dream that they were out. Yeah. Don't remember what it was. I don't either. Guys, guys. Let's go find out. Where? We're getting in trouble. Julie oh, walks no, up next. Oh, trouble. What will we do? <laughs> Julie oh. walks up next to him and mocks with him. What will we do? Oh, no. Yeah, but it's not like we're getting hired to work here anyway. It's not like this what is are we our cooking? career. Did Adventure you want to space. work here? Look, you heard her, okay? She didn't want to talk about this basement. Whatever's in there, it's important. Or it's yeah. nothing. Either way, let's go find out. This is so weird. And, and you're going to do this no matter what, right? Yeah, of course it'd be easier if somebody was here about to tell on me. I'm not going to tell on you. No, but we're part of a group, so hey, fine. Just go on and go. I, I mean, we'll we, be behind you. We need to find an elevator, right? Yeah, of course. So we'll go find an elevator. Well, wouldn't the staircase go all the way down? No, well, no. if it's secret. You, I mean, if it's secret, you can't go all the way down through a staircase, and it's not secret. It's got to be like a secret. It's got to be like a secret. So not ADA compliant. Oh, the government doesn't care about that. I don't think they care, bro. It's got to be like a secret pad on the elevator, or like some sort of code you got to type into the. The, the keypad or the buttons to go to a secret floor, or, or you have a key to. You've not seen those well, spy movies? Well, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll yeah, try but the, I We're didn't... in the stairwell now. Try the stairwell first, and if we can't find it, then we'll go find an elevator. It's really easy. Let's go. Alright. This is such a bad idea, but fine. Yeah, yeah. Are there stairs that go uh, down the. I can't believe it. I'm in the middle of a real life conspiracy. You should be streaming. You should probably be streaming this. No, uh, I will just keep track of it in my notes. I will stream it. This is we like fucking Captain Crunch will find my your crimes. <laughs> Dude, kids okay. do we're it. Teenagers. <laughs> yeah, we, no, we're, we're teenagers. We're teenagers. Going... We would stream it. <laughs> we're we're about to check out the conspiracy here at the Rook Center. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, not, We're about to break into the moron, so basement. I'm not this <laughs> so, I go to stream it. And Captain Crunch like shuts my phone. I was like, "Well, that's not gonna help." <laughs> well, that's. Yeah. I'm sorry. I I value anonymity over anything else. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm sure that Julie is making a TikTok. No, no, she's fucking not. I swear to God, I'll break all your phones. <laughs> Why is she over there dancing in the stairwell with a phone pointed towards her? <laughs> you see her take a single selfie on the way down the stairs. Uh, don't don't worry, you're not in it. It's not about you. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going down the stairs. As we're going down the stairs, you get a notification on your phone of a post about chasing your dreams. And it's in the second section of that post that she talked about earlier. And it's just her photo with a little glitter bomb version of letters saying, It's my time. I'm dislike. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like Andrew is downvote. Just, <laughs> Andrew, Andrew is just kind of going, Oh, I need to stay with these people keep them out of trouble. Okay. So you remember when you came in, uh, there were elevators. Uh, you didn't take the elevators because it's hard to get 25 people in an elevator. Uh, but there are elevators. Uh, so you, you make it back down to the first floor. 
and you kind of circle around and head for the elevators. But there are people on the first floor uh, that you're going to have to make it past. So here's what I'm going to do. All right, somebody's already on this. Uh, I want everybody to roll a stealth check. All I can say is the jock better make it. <laughs> I'm more worried about me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh. oh. Well, uh, actually, you know, Ace is kind of in the, the rear. <laughs> seeing that people are not being great. Um, and Ace is just going to go, I mean, basically go over, um, to one of the people and say, hey, uh, excuse me, I have a friend back here that really needs to get to the bathroom. Uh, where, where did we go? Uh, over there, uh, they have the big signs above them with like... Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay, okay, thanks. Um, I kind of try to hu uh, usher some of the people, uh, usher people over that way, um, so that, you know, they can try again. Um, listen, with bells on, it's, it's just a phrase. <laughs> Mason's over by the, uh, uh, elevator going, what's taking so long? Why are you being so loud? Now, I'm, I'm trying to give... Or another chance at this <laughs> stealth roll because, yeah. All right, Fetch, go ahead and roll me uh, another stealth check uh, to come out of the bathroom. Slippy. So, somehow your shoe got wet and you're hearing squeak, squeak, squeak on the yeah. floor. <laughs> Just one shoe, though. That's why I had to take my shoes off. It's always the fucking right <laughs> shoe. You go to move and it's just, er, er, er. stop it. So angry! <laughs> I hate shoes. <laughs> In real life, though, that's so that's a pet peeve of mine. It oh, once okay. she just won't dry out. So yeah. <laughs> so you make it into the elevator, and uh, well, you go up to the elevator, and it's got an up button and a down button. We're on the first floor now, right? We want to go on down, apparently. <laughs> Is there no pad or nothing else on there? No, it's like on the outside, it's just up or down. Oh, oh, we're, I see. We're not in the elevator. Not I'm in falling. The elevator. Oh, down. Okay. Me. So the elevator opens up. You all get in, and there is uh, one, two, three, and then there's B. And then there's P1 and P2. So like a parking structure at the bottom? Underground parking. I'm gonna or is it? All right, chat. This is on you. I'm going to hit B1. All right, so you head to the basement. It opens up and you are in a, like a long corridor. Uh, and there are various doors, but this, unlike upstairs, there are no windows in looking into any of the rooms. No, we didn't uh, even ask. <laughs> that is a very good question. That is a very good question. Boy, it sure would be handy if someone were to roll the perception check while you were in that elevator, but you're out. Uh, and you're in the basement, looking around, all these, uh... These sort of evenly spaced rooms, but none of the doors open directly across from each other. They're always offset. So if both doors were open, you wouldn't be able to see across into the other. Wait, this isn't the third floor. I'm just going to open the door. Uh, the doors seem to be locked. But they do have those little uh, ID badge scanner pads beside them. You said they seem to be locked. I disbelieve they're locked. Still locked. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look around uh, nice the floor. You're looking around the floor? Not the actual floor. I mean, I'm oh. looking around here. Okay. Um, looking, looking for tracks on the floor. That looks different. Uh, so you kind of follow it uh, 
kind of back, and it's this long hallway, and uh, and you get to the end, and there is a there is a door that says exit. Uh, make me a perception check, or if you have anything that pertains to uh, knowing anything about building codes, fire codes, or anything like that. Nope. All right. Sorry. All right. I thought it wouldn't work again, so I double tapped it. And, and it worked. Twice, so fuck it. Uh, whatever. So, uh, as you're looking at this exit sign, and you have eidetic memory, mm -hmm. every exit sign in every building is either lit up or glow in the dark or something. But not this one. This one, it looks like one of those light-up exit signs, but it's not lit up. And at this moment, I am going to take a break. Uh, I call it uh, five or ten. All right. Uh, well, you heard him, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back in about five or ten minutes. <clears throat>
and we are back with a bunch of teenagers right. stealing away into a probably some unsecure some very secure locations we're not supposed to be in sit still you have come to a door that says exit but the sign the exit sign is not lit let's check the door it opens or it is not locked are you opening it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, I'm opening the seat that leads to a staircase. Yeah, it, it has, like, a handle that you have to turn, and it opens up, and there is a staircase. It goes down, but not up. Well, the elevator did say there's parking garages further down, but now, now there's something uh, fishy going on down here. OSHA's going to be so pissed. OSHA? Cameron owns OSHA. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm not getting into this. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Julie takes a photo of the exit sign and says OSHA violation? Question <laughs> mark. And that posts right after. Oh no. Alright, so I'm going to oh. have to lock Julie out of her own goddamn account. <laughs> <laughs> My phone goes all ping. Everybody yeah, else like, around his phone goes all ping, ping. We've just, all been tagged in the video, in the post. Julie, are you serious? Did you just post that? What are the odds uh, they're watching my my no notifications? To y'all, because y'all all follow me. Thanks, by the way. <laughs> well, you know that one boy in class follows Robert, you. You're, you're muted. You're muted, Robert. Yeah, Andrew is kind of bringing up the rear and is kind of keeping watch to see if anyone comes after us. You know what? Yes, somebody is going to come after us. So I'm going to try and get as far as I can while being constantly hamstrung by these guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm following, following him the now. Photos. It's yeah, I'm just definitely me. following you now. Like, if anything shit. happens and, and we're going to get caught, let me get caught. Y'all keep going. I'll take the hit. It's fine. Oh, you no, tagged us in it, and you know that one boy's following you why, because he was why, dreaming I about didn't you. Tag any of y'all in it. Why not? Why not? Why not not do this? Is what I will not know. Why? Do, why? Why you got to live stream our fucking illegal bullshit? You understand? Here's the thing: no one knows where we're at and what we're doing, except for the people who wouldn't want to know where we're at and what we're doing. Are you actually actually just actively trying to confuse me? So I, no, that's that's teenager uh, uh, logic right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm trying really hard right now. Look, I don't think I. Wait, let's just. This, I'm following. Look, I have let's go. <laughs> hey, let's just let's just find out what this conspiracy is so I can expose it. No, no that's fun. Believe it or not, that's the sanest thing I've heard so far. So, down the stairs. Um, yes. You head down. And uh, <laughs> down a flight. And it opens to a parking garage <laughs> that is full of cars, but then there's a second stairwell that turns and goes down again. Okay. You know, P2. parking garage, you know, where it said P2, but let's go see. So you go down, uh, and when you get to the bottom, the door that goes into this parking floor is locked. Well, that's, that's strange right there. Why would you lock a door to a parking garage? Maybe it's executive parking. Hmm. No. Is there a key thing on this one, too? Yes. I try our badge. I know it ain't going to work, but... It well, yeah, work. it's just... Ring. Hey, that student's down there in the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, the uh, security uh, administrator just saw that ping and went, huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? What do you think? Do you think you can, uh, like, you know, wire into this thing or something? You're, you're good with computers and such. 
How are the yeah, cameras yeah, yeah, so far down the stairwell? I mean, we're just being lit up the whole time. Uh, make me a perception check. Beautiful. Oh, you lost one. Did you pull it off? You got a couple you're missing. I don't see shit. Uh, I am on my phone. <laughs> the feel is too busy with the phone. I am uh, Mason and Captain Crunch did notice, like, going from the first floor to the basement. Uh, well, there were cameras on the first floor. There were cameras in the basement. Uh, there were not cameras in the stairwell. And you don't see any on this landing here. Oh. Why would... Hi, hey. I need Can you open the door? I need to find a way in, which means I need to find a, a port of some kind. I mean, you can borrow my Swiss Army knife. If we can... Not that I think I have one. <laughs> Let me check. We can um, get the, uh, the keypad away, like, or separate it. Maybe I can find something in the back that I can rewire. Andrew is just going to, you know, bat, you know shoulder the door to see if he can open. Now, uh, the strength that's on your sheet is not that high. Oh, I know, I know. I was going to modify it. Yeah. Uh, take that down to about a 3 instead of a 10. Okay. I was actually going to take it down to a um, zero? 2, but I'll take it down to... Okay. Do you want me to do athletics, or do you want me to do just raw strength? Uh, let's do an athletics. I don't think we have any equipment, do we? Yep. Still 17. Uh, alright. So, you definitely oh, hear it. Go ahead. It, it didn't calculate my modifier. Sorry. Uh, Let I me redo it. Three on it. Yeah. Oh, that was your roll. Oh, you can take the three then. So, I would have only had a 10. Uh, that uh, let's go with it. Um, uh, so you hear stuff creak, but it does not open. This is okay. a metal door. Yeah. But th does it open it enough for, um, Were you going to... directly for, like, the, the... Key card scanner pad, or were you going for the door? I, I was going the for the door, because seeing if he it could open it up enough so that he could jimmy the lock or something. Uh, do you have any physical lock picking skills, anyone? No. Um, no. hold on. No, no thievery on anyone. I don't remember seeing it. That doesn't. No, but is. That's not sleight of hand, is it? No. Yeah, sleight of hand is. is like pickpocket. Uh, specifically in uh, in Valiant Adventures, it is a skill called thievery, which I would have had to have put in as an expertise. Well, I guess I could try to roll it, because, you know, I'm pretty lucky with things. Do you have uh, Jack of All Trades? I have Beginner's Luck. Okay. Uh, it, well, I guess, do you have yeah. A hero point to spend I do have on? A, I'll give you the hero point. There's the point, and I will go ahead and, I guess, what what would be uh, the skill on that? Uh, it would be, uh, let's say, a, either dexterity or intellect, whichever is better for you. All right, well, my dexterity is currently at a five, so what would, should the dexterity be? Uh, let's bring that down to a four. Uh, and the beginner's luck gives you a four. It so. gives me a five, so it'd be just uh, adding one to whatever this roll is. Yeah. Uh, so it'd be so, a seventeen. Be, uh, yeah, you can't really figure out how to do that. That's that's tricky. Okay. 
and you don't actually have any kind of tools. To yeah. But that. now for the remainder of this scene, uh, my thieving or whatever you got going is Either, got yeah. five temporary ranks. All right. Um, as always. So what else, folks? Um, okay. Julie yeah, looks. To... Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Julie looks to the door and looks to the the other guys and just like on five, just rush it. What? We could just bull rush the door and see if it pops it out. I mean, it's, the screws in that wall are probably what two, three inches at most. I guess all three, four of us. I mean, it... I don't think all. Three or all five of us can like get to the door at the same time. Yeah, I mean, we'll be running that. into each other, and it'll be just like a comic event, you know, like Three Stooges kind of look. Besides, it's got a keypad, which means it has an electronic lock. It's going to be crazy difficult to get to. What's the walls made out of? Uh, they look like reinforced concrete. <sighs> Damn. Okay. Because you know, I saw this thing on uh, MacGyver uh, when I was watching that, and it, it was it. Yeah, you know, the walls are weaker than the door is, but we don't have anything to break through the wall, do we? Not if it's reinforced concrete, anyway. Okay, look, I don't know. Can we I have try one more this. time to just bash it or I don't know. open it. I will okay. assist you with uh, with a team attack on that if you would like. Sure. And as many people that could team attack the door at the same time to support him, I would love to try. I, I honestly think only two people are realistically going to be able to hit a standard sized door at the same time. So one person can be part of that team attack. Is there anyone around here who's particularly strong and athletic? My character's not strong even with full potential, so no. I mean, I have a two strength, but I don't know how much of that is power related. Yeah, the two's fine. Two is just you. So, I guess I'll assist. Okay. You need me to roll? I can't remember how that works. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a roll. Athletics roll. Oh, athletics. If it's different. It's roll, different. It's not. Uh, let's just do this. I rolled a 10. My athletics is a 6. I'd make it a 16. Okay. Uh, so, that's one degree of success. So, you'll get a plus 2 on yours, Robert. Okay. And then, can I expend a hero point here? Uh, maybe, if you to, want to give me a little more detail. To edit the scene, that this door has recently been under ill maintenance, and it is maybe not as well maintained as it should be, so it's weaker to being just bull rushed down than it should be. Yeah, they meant to fix the hinges that were rusting out. Uh, I will lower the DC for that hero point. Uh, so that would give Ace a 17 uh, for the athletics. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead... Uh, well, no, you said it was a 16 on yours to get through, right? Mason? Yeah. Okay, so about the same. Uh, you guys get over on the bottom of the stairs and you both run at it and slam your shoulders into it uh, and it does not open. Now, uh, can I, I spend the hero point to re-roll that? Sure. Okay. Does it give the plus 10? Uh, if you roll less than 10 on the dice, you will yeah, add we'll... 10 to that. Or okay. 10 or less on the dice. 10 or less, okay. So, uh -huh. I got an 8. Well, actually, that... I rolled a 9. Uh -huh. So that's 28. And with a plus 2, that's 30. Okay. Yes. Alright. So, you... Uh, you get on the stairs and you take a run at it 
uh, and you <laughs> slam into it. And at about that time, says Julie says, "And if you make it through the door, we'll go on a date. I swear." Just get it. So I guess and, we've made it to critical role status. Our biggest bad guy in this game has been the door. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, I, so I pop the door. I think it slam through the door. Uh, Mason goes sprawling on the floor. Uh, and uh, I think you're both confused as to who she's going on a date with, but uh, we'll uh, Ace will still take a selfie with her by the broken door. All right. <laughs> She quickly snaps a photo of the broken door on the ground. And it's like, doors? Easy. <laughs> she doesn't post this one. This one's still waiting for later. Uh -huh. Mason so just has expects are... to look up and see guns pointed you at know, him. It is interesting seeing a future police report being built in chronological order. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this will be the evidence at our trial. It's good that you get to see it in advance. And why uh, did you break into the ba sub-basement of this building? We I had a dream? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, as you go... For your binder. It was Ace's fault. He dared us as to. Or he'd give us wedgies. We're being bullied. <laughs> yes, you're being bullied. <laughs> I'm going forward. So you careen into the... Uh, second level of the parking garage. And... Oh, okay. I walk. I'm not part of that. No, no he's referred to the rest of us falling in. <laughs> so you Fine. venture into the second parking garage level, or parking level, and uh, you notice uh, a couple of very expensive-looking cars. I mean, we're uh, already here. Maybe we should take one for a joyride. I don't think we found out why this door Let's not add that to the charges. So, you, you get into uh, the parking garage. You see the expensive cars. Uh, Captain Crunch, you remember that uh, Ms. Poole uh, got speeding tickets uh, in a very expensive car. That's right, she did. All right, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go Have back to crunch is like progress. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna look through my notes and uh, see if they mention what kind of car in the uh, reports. Uh, yes. They do. Shittiest police uh, report ever. One of these. It's one of these. <laughs> uh, Congratulations. We took the hard way down to the parking garage. Expensive ass car. <laughs> I don't know. Expensive ass car. Bad driver. Uh, nepotism hire. Mm -hmm. He's got a vanity plate. Well, the police report would have her license plate on it, so. So it's going to say her name or something. B L K S H P. <laughs> Can I have that, please? Can I at least? Come on. What? That that should unfuzz the memory, shouldn't it? Because you rem you remember her being called black sheep by someone. Thank you. Okay. Why are you I'm so excited? That. I'm sharing that with everybody. Like, you remember her costume in the dream? It had a sheep on it. It had a sheep symbol on it. Black sheep. Now I sound like Mason. <laughs> I just look for the car. I'm going to try to be the voice of reason. <laughs> we went down to a thing called B, which was a basement. Then we went to P1, which was a parking garage. Then we went to P2, which, guess what, was another one. There's no conspiracy. Let's go back up to the... Okay, no, this is actually... You're right. It doesn't count 
Yeah, I think we need to make it back upstairs. Julie grabs oh, another photo oh, and it's of the of the oh, license God. plate and she posts gotcha bitch. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Julie has become my favorite character in this game. Somebody make me a perception check. Uh, hey. sure. <laughs> and it wouldn't be as funny as it is if it were for the fact that in real life, there's always that one that does this. Yeah. Yeah. There's always one. All right, fetch. <laughs> you remember getting in the elevator. You remember the elevator said P1, P2. You remember coming down here on through stair. But as you look around, there's no elevator down here. I'm going to mention that. like, Because actually, I'm probably like pointing to the elevator. Let's go back up. You know, the, uh -huh. where it should be. Where's the elevator? I mean, it's right over. Um, Start looking around. Like, should it be like right over there? Angle? Right, because we we came in there, so it would be there, right? Yeah, but there's a wall there. There's no elevator. Well, I, under my breath, I swear to God, if these two conspiracy theorists end up being right, I'll be so pissed off. This is a really small. Wait, is is there a way for the cars to get out? Yeah. Ooh, okay. So we need to go back up one level, get in the elevator, and go to parking level two then. Oh, I was going to go over to the wall first and just kind of tap on it, just to see. Just looking around for... Why is there an elevator? Wait a minute, there's got to be an elevator or something, because I'm sure uh, What's-Her-Face with these fancy cars is not going to walk up one slide of stairs and hit the elevator. Well, plus there was a P2. And by the way, this is in character. There was a P2. There has got to be an elevator. Yeah, I'm going to check her car because I want to see if... Whoop, 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 whoop. Does the car have a clicker for, like, a garage door? Are you going to attempt to get in her car? Oh, God, this is not a good idea. No. no uh, this is not a good idea. I'm not attempting to get into her car. I'm examining the car for any hint of a walk. The little flashing light. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yes, there is, there does seem to be a little flashing light in the car. Uh, with the 18 perception, would I have noticed any cameras in this level? No, there are none. That's weird. Okay, that's not a character, but... No, that's that's very weird, and that's in character. I mean, fancy, expensive car like this down here without any kind of security watching it? Just a parking garage and all, there's... Always. There, there's just a parking oh, garage yeah, exit yeah. that leads up to the, the to the to the road. Is what you're saying. There's an exit. There's an exit. You don't know where it goes. You haven't gone up there. And, oh, you're saying there's a the tunnel. Wall where the elevator where the tunnel ship. goes. There's a ramp. For the cars. Yeah. Uh huh. And the wall where the elevator should be is just a normal wall. Yeah, as far as you can tell. Now. Again, this section is very small. This is in no way as big as the one above you. The one above you had a whole other section over by the elevators. This stair access only parking area uh, seems to be walled off from the others with a, uh, a door that you had to bash out Bust of the open. wall to get in. Okay, I can't believe I'm saying this, but now I'm super curious. Maybe we, we should need go to, to the elevator and go to the P2 just to see where that elevator comes out. Well, we need to also check for secret doors before we leave, because there's always a secret door. Let's look around for a secret door. I mean, super, villain, super villains have secret doors, right? Yeah. and Unless if it's activated via, via some sort of, like, signal. Bio, like a um, biochip or I something. I think Captain Crunch can figure that out, yeah? Is there, like, a signal or something... That maybe she would have like a Bluetooth. Take that Bluetooth off of the off of the vehicle, maybe that opens something special here. Yes, maybe I can 
see if I can detect any like RFID type thing. Yeah, so any odd signals or like radio waves or something. In okay. the meantime, I'll just go uh, look around the walls and see if anything strikes my fancy in the meantime. And she's got her camera out, and she's just looking. She's not looking. She's looking through her camera's lens as yeah. she's looking. Yeah, don't forget to tag your location, you fucking moron. <laughs> I'm in airplane mode when I'm not posting thank you. Oh, good. That way she can never receive any messages from anyone. Uh, okay, uh, Captain Crunch, do you have electronics? Expertise electronics? So I don't have much. I'd yes. have to be at the system. Um, alright, uh, there's some kind of RFID scanner in your phone, right? Oh, yeah, almost certainly. Uh, so you know how to access that. Go ahead and make me a computer's check to see if you can, um, uh, Pick up any signals? Access that, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, there is definitely a, an RFID uh, signal down here. Um, oh, and uh, with some triangulation on your phone, you can walk back and forth and see where it's uh, where it's stronger or weaker, uh, and you eventually get to a um, like a place in the wall uh, that, um, although you kind of missed it on the initial look. Uh, there's another one of those uh, key card scanners. Like just on the wall? Just on the wall. Okay, that's unusual. Now, most of them have like little, like, it's a red light, it's a green light on them. This one doesn't have any light. It's just a small rectangular panel that's barely the size of the card. And it's a key card swipe, correct? Not a punch pad. Yeah, it's not a punch pad. There's no keypad on it. I just walk up beside Mason. Don't look. I'm going to go, okay, I'm sorry. Maybe you were right. <laughs> oh, I know I was right. <laughs> and uh, Mason's got his phone out waiting for this door to get opened up. He's going to turn the camera on and record as it opens. Now we're getting somewhere. Um, let me think. You hear him say, there is a secret door right here, and we found the pad for it. Now we just got to find out how to open it. I knew there was something weird going on over here. What's that? Is there a fire hydrant nearby? Fire hydrant. Fire extinguisher. Uh, said I wish I could spook somebody's access card. Did there... you say that out loud? Yes. I'm going to start looking in cars to see if anybody's left an ID. There's only two cars down. Oh, um, I misunderstood that. Well, I'll look in both. Not in, like a window, not... Right. Okay. Uh, you don't see any from where you are. Uh, but, I mean, somebody picked up some thievery. Maybe it's time for a little GTA. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, do you see anything in the windows that require me to open them? Well, let's see. If we can get the hood open on Black Sheep's car, uh, well, I gotta roll with my electronics to actually know this. Okay. Oh, you do have electronics. I yeah, you I have them. electronics. It's just not as good as the computer. Oh. No. Okay. But this it's works. not an expertise, it's just a skill. I, I don't know, plus nine seems like well, a skill. I mean, yeah, that's, that's really that's, good. So we'll take that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, the point is that... I mean, it's better uh, than my conspiracy. Most... <laughs> <laughs> most car alarms use the, uh, the horn. Uh, yeah. Like, double the horn as the alarm. So if we pull the relay, uh, the horn relay, then that means the alarm won't go off. Also, I saw this in a movie, 
if you pick up the front of the vehicle at a certain angle, it shuts it off automatically as well, because you know it, it's, it symbolizes so being we, picked up by a tow truck. So all of us are going to pick up the, well, I mean... Honestly, as a group, we probably could. Yeah, C cars, as, as much as they are heavy, they're not that heavy to get them yeah, to tilt. Well, also, these vehicles are made for speed, not uh, dur you know, not durability. So they're probably a little lighter than your basic like Ford Taurus or something. Once you snip the horn, I'm willing Can't. to help lift. If you well, we wouldn't have to st if we snip the horn. We don't have to. Why don't it, I, won't you go and just pop the hood with your thievery? Popping the hood's not going to set off the alarm unless this is one hell of a security system. Well, I mean, I can give it a shot. I mean, that'd be so one what, badass security system. What we, what we determined? Uh, plus five thievery uh, based on your so, uh, dexterity and, of four. And the dexterity was a five. We said we dropped it to what, a two or a one? Uh, a four. We dropped it to a four. Yeah. So I'll just roll this and add four to it. So we had 23. All right. You managed to pop the hood without setting anything off. Now somehow we got to disconnect the battery. Uh, That's easy. I mean, disconnecting the battery is easy if you have tools. But I'm just going to look at the inside of the circuit, or the uh, circuit board, and see which one is the horn reader. And then I'll pull that one. Okay. Uh, does anybody happen to have mechanics? I do not. I was just looking at that. No. Nope. No, that was a skill. no, I do not. It's one of the new Valiant skills. They separated technology into uh, computers, electronics, mechanics, and thievery. That's mm, pardon me. A good idea. Yeah, that is one of the. I think. I think that's probably one of the better things that they did with it. That, that in my opinion, mm -hmm. I agree. Because yeah. technology was too much way, of a just roll yeah, technology. Way too much. Mm -hmm. Ace. Yeah. Aku has technology that yeah. allows her to do ridiculous things. Can you? Wait, I'm actually asking your like. Uh, wait, will you? Is Ace his actual handle, or does he? Is that like a nickname? No, Andrew is his name. Okay, so Andrew, can you wiggle the battery, like the, the battery cord? Yeah. I know they're wedged on there well, but you do that enough, it will come off. Yeah. So make me an athletics check. Okay. Julie, you'll help you. Right, this again. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to give everybody a hero point for getting into uh, this area. Hey. For getting into trouble. For willingly doing the thing. I love that. Dollar bills, dollar bills, hero points. Now, Wait. has everybody that spent their hero points removed their hero points? I'm yeah. giving you this one back. Oh, I picked yes. it up off the table when you said okay. you gave us one, so. I forgot how to do it, so I just kept it in my mind. Uh, you click on it, and then... You can uh, drag it. Drag it and drop it onto the board. Hmm. And then, ideally, I can grab it and do it. Yeah. All right. So you need to just get rid of the hero point from before. Gotcha. If you spent your hero point, it would I did. Be. Okay. Yeah. I think at this point in time, pretty much most of us did. I have not yet, but yeah. All right. I'm about to, I think. So. Uh, so you need to help Jimmy in the, the power cable? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I will help you with an athletics day. Yes, so, you will. Okay. All right. Uh, it's two degrees of success, so plus five. Or, excuse me, uh, Robert, when you roll, 
you're going to roll twice and take the higher. Okay. So here's the first roll, and here's the second roll. So 18. Uh, so you manage to twist one of the battery, uh, cables off. Um, did you, uh, remove the, uh, the horn relay? Yeah, he removed that again with... For that? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay, what was the number? Oh, I, I didn't roll for it. It's pretty easy. If they have a, if they have a circuit board cover... That cover tells you exactly which uh, okay. thing does. Does the 16-year-old kid know where to look in a supercar to find the relay? I rolled the 26 in electronics. I should hope so. Okay. Uh, so you find that, you read it, you like flip it upside down a couple of times, you look at it, you turn so you're facing the same way. And then you pull it out. Yeah, there you go. That made it way more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I have the power of Google, motherfucker. <laughs> I can do anything. It's like when you're trying to remember which uh, which way something was in the past, so you have to turn as you were sitting in uh -huh. the room. Yeah. Oh, it's all there. <laughs> there it is. All right. So you have... Opened the hood, removed the battery cable, pulled out the horn relay. What now? Now we gotta get in the car. So that'd be nine. This sounds like a job for thievery. Yep. Uh, maybe an 18 total, I think. Alright. Uh, for the sake of expedience, I'm gonna say that's enough. Okay. Uh, there, I got the door open for you. You what pop the door. Uh, you get in. Uh, hmm. I would like to edit the scene. She left her batch here, or RFID. <laughs> I'm gonna say no to that because she definitely had it on. Because when you took the picture, she said, "Everybody, hold up your badge. It's already there." In the story that she has. It. Maybe this is her backup badge. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, good for security for that to be the case. Well, we can, uh, we have tape or something. We might be able to pull our fingerprints and trick the hand scan. Is it a hand scanner? Hand scanner? I thought it was a, no, it's a card, card reader. I mean, if you want, I can go Han Solo it. So, could Shoot. we edit the scene that this... That this particular badge scanner doesn't take the badge she uses for work, but takes a different badge that she kept in her car because she wouldn't need it anywhere in her regular life. Uh, I'm going to say that as you go through the console, uh, you find a key fob uh, that has uh, not the logo of the brand of car, that she has, uh, but the, but a, uh, it has a, a logo that kind of looks like a, like a phoenix. Should I take the point off? Uh, yes, please. On it. I'm just dumping it over here with these, well, okay, I don't think that worked. You got it. It did work. Yeah. It's did. way off to the side. Okay. I got it. Thank you. So, you find this key fob with a different logo. Let's go try it. I mean, this is it. Yeah. push the button, see what happens. Uh... Is there anything else in the car? You know, like... Well, like uh, a little toolkit or something? A warm Sprite? Half eaten candy for <laughs> Uh... Somebody make me a perception check. 
Alright, so it's asked. Or if nope. anyone has Streetwise or anything like that. That's a no. Alright. Uh, well, it rocks on perception. So. Oh. Crunch said Scream. And Fetch. You both pick up a, an aroma. Uh, a particular smell in the. Ace! <laughs> yeah? Uh, she definitely does a little self-medication uh, from time to time. <laughs> there, There is a, uh, a smell of weed in the car. Uh, so I guess we understand now a little bit about Mason and Ace's home life because... We don't, right? We were used that to it. That spell didn't register at all. <laughs> <laughs> I did not roll a perception. I'm so sorry. I should have. Okay. Uh, <laughs> First thing she's perceived all day. <laughs> Julie also, like, oh yeah. This was like grandma. <laughs> this smells like my grandma's house. Julie's just <laughs> looking in the door to see if she could find it. No. Nope. What are y'all looking oh, for? No. Well, she's All probably right. left when it in here. Button, she's happened? smoking the devil's lettuce. The devil's uh, lettuce? What is no that? No calls it that. <laughs> the marijuana <laughs> cigarette? Oh, oh, is that what you're looking for? Jeez. My mama does that all the time. The <laughs> yeah, she usually hides it under the cup holder. So after searching the car uh, for illicit substances, which you do not find. Oh, this sucks. Uh, you hit the button on the key fob uh, and you you detect a slight uh, shift in uh, the wall. It doesn't spring open or anything like that. It doesn't make any noise. It just shifts slightly. Hey, somebody come help me pull this. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a push. I'll, I'll save you the uh, far side moment. It's a push. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> it's one of my favorite far sides. <laughs> School for the gifted. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I'll push it open. So you push it open and it opens up into a dimly lit metal lined hallway let me get the description here uh, da, da, da. <laughs> I'm recording as the doors are being pushed open so is Julie Julie's uh, got that phone <laughs> live <laughs> I look over at Fish I told you so that, nothing's ever that easy to explain. There's so, always something going on. Whatever the opposite of Occam's razor is, is what's happening here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Since I've been here, I've been hearing a voice. Off and on. What? Wait, what? Like, this is ridiculous. I didn't hear Please don't go BPD, like multi-personality on me right now. Well, like, it's you're ruining like the moment. I think somebody's sending out a signal. I think that dream might have something to do with that signal. Oh, you're talking about that? No. We're, we're all hearing that, right? Hearing what? Julie looks to saying everyone it. else and then looks saying to the captain. It. It's been saying it every so often. Every so often I hear it as long as I'm here. Save them. I looked to the ground. I haven't heard this. I wait a minute. I heard that when oh, I, I got. Yes. Yeah. I heard that yeah. before I got on the bus this morning. But we have been hearing it the entire time. Occasionally, yeah. Yeah. As oh. Long as we've been here, we've been hearing this voice. I guess I missed I, that. Yeah, it did. I just figured it was Julie's phone making noises when she starts posting. I figured it was like her little posting. You see a uh, notification sound. on your phone that says "Save them." Anyway. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but somebody's sending out some kind of signal, and it reached us in our group. Why us? I have no idea. I mean, save them. Save who? That's kind of what I want to find out. Where are them? I mean, is it here? Is it somewhere else? 
Are we on the Let's right track? Let's go down the creepy dark hallway and find out. I mean, so I mean actually, secret, we really disembodied need to. voice. Secret can you be a little more specific? Look, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Uh, yeah. I have a goal here. Do you have the same goal? Julie puts her hand on Captain's shoulder, and for the first time, she's kind of. She's a little. T- we're 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 what? Just beginning of high school, right? You're sixteen, yeah. <laughs> sophomores. Okay. So she's maybe just now everybody's growing taller than her. She used to be able to put her hand on shoulder. You're five one. I'm like five four, thank you. Or I don't even is her height Feels actually in the case. She's five one. Is she five one? Yeah. Great. I love it. So she just puts her hand on Captain's like I guess like arm and says, Everyone believes you, you don't have to convince us. We're all really here for the same reason. Otherwise, uh, do you think I would I, be here doing this? Think about okay. it. Okay, well, let, let me be clear here. I'm just going to slowly remove her hand. Like, I don't care if you believe me or not. I just need to make sure you're not going to hinder me. Well, I mean, she's already posting stuff left and right, so... I'm giving you mad side eye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, can't do anything about that. So at right. least I know, at least I know what's gonna happen once I leave here. So I'm probably going to jail if I'm lucky. But in the meantime, Why? I have a goal. Well, we all had a dream. I mean, no, never mind. But so let's get to it. Yeah, so going down the hallway. Secret tunnel. Going down the creepy hallway. Secret tunnel. So the dimly lit metallic metal lined hallway uh, ventures just a little bit before it drops down into another set of stairs that almost immediately turn back on itself. Does it go down or is it just, just a switchback? Both. Oh, okay. Uh, it, it goes down, but then it switches back right under to where you're standing almost directly under where the door was upstairs, and upstairs, and there's another door there. Key thing again? You click the key thing, and... Oh, oh. No, I did, I would want it to, I just making sure, is there one, like... Uh, you, you see a similar panel beside the door. But the fob. you already have the fob that worked upstairs, so uh, I imagine someone hits that. Uh, you hit it, and there is a hissing sound, and the door... I mean, it doesn't, like, pop open, but you can see that the, the lock releases. It makes that kind of thump sound. Nervously. Oh, yeah, shit. Thump. But this is the pull? <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, the metallic chamber beyond is large but cramped, filled with the angled tubes and bulky machinery that run along both walls to either side of the door. Pale greenish light from within the tube sheds a ghastly glow over the room and other lights blink from display panels. Now you remember in your dream there was green light coming out of the vault where they broke into. Uh, it's the same green light. The long tubes are made of some kind of thick glass banded in smooth dark metal and dark shapes float within each one. Almost entranced by the sight, you feel drawn to one of the tubes, moving closer to get a better look. Although part of you wants to turn away, to retreat out the door you came in and not look back. This is some straight out of Aliens shit. You see why as you look into the tube and see the limp form floating suspended there. Looking past the breathing mask and tube and the monitoring leads, you see you. What the hell? <laughs> hey, yes. wh- not you. <laughs> this is going to be a skill challenge. You are going to need Jesus to get Christ. six total degrees of success before you get three degrees of failure. Uh, okay. you tell right, me you what go. you want to do. I mean, and I will tell you if that succeeds or not. I, I will go ahead and say now that the DC for all of these checks is an 18. You have all of your abilities. Everything that's on your character sheet, you have because it is 
the conscious you outside the outside the tube helping the unconscious you inside the tube. Okay. Okay. So well, un- to understand this, you're acting as if we are in a dream helping our un- our unconscious selves. Is, is the premise here? A dream no. simulation. There is a conscious you that is staring into a tube where the unconscious you is floating in goo. Christopher, you come upon a turtle on his back, but you don't turn it over. Sorry, I had to do it. (laughs) Well, Ace will go on and try to open up his case using athletics. Okay. Uh, Using your full strength for athletics, go ahead and give me that roll. Okay. That's an 18. That is one degree of success. That's all. Okay, every, so, oh, sorry. Again? No, you, everybody does it once. And then we go around again. Oh, and sorry. Then you will get a second turn. I ask everybody right. to get up against the wall. Okay. I'm going to telekinetically try to pull all the doors. Okay. Go ahead and roll and add your ranks of telekinesis. Or move object or whatever the power is. I don't Imagine think it's rolling. rolling. Are y'all seeing a roll come up that I'm not seeing? I do not see a roll. Um, I'm pushing it. Uh, okay. I, just. I'm just going to do the time. Give me a d20 it. roll yeah. and add whatever the ranks are. I think it's an 8, but I'm not it, sure. It is, it is. Okay, that's not very good. Okay. That is a failure. Unless. I'll hero point it. Then that hero point. I'll okay. hero point it. So let me do this. And now, when I say spin the hero point, what you're actually doing is using extra effort, but right. you are spinning the hero point not to be fatigued. Okay, yes. so that's going to be a 22, so that's actually, uh, oh, it's just shy of two degrees. Right. So By the way, because I'm not, to be honest with you, I'm not totally sure about this personally. Mm-hmm. With extraordinary effort, I would have to go fatigue to get the second effect, correct? Yes. Yeah, and you would still have to spend the hero point. I'll do it. Um, and that should put, I think I can do, I can do plus two to the check or plus one to the effect rank. Um, I don't think that, oh, that'd be the effect rank, not the check. One right? to the effect rank would get you to the second degree of success. Do that. Okay, so you are fatigued. Got it. Let me put that on. But that is three degrees of success and no failures at this point. As he seems to suddenly be exhausted from his efforts, Mm because you said you're trying to open a door on every door, is what you said. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to pull all of them. Julie steps up behind you, puts her hand on your back, and says, Are you okay? And I would like to attempt to help heal his fatigue. Okay, is fatigue one of the conditions you can heal? Is yours uh it just says healing. It doesn't say energizing, no. Uh then you can't heal fatigue with that. Damn. Okay. I appreciate it though. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh okay, these exactly. containers are glass. Uh yes. Alright. Glass ish. Then I will throw my hands in front of me and these um, they look like dodgeballs come flying out around me. They're like hard light dodgeballs. That's cool. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and roll me a d20. Uh, that's a... I and guess add your ranks of the... Um, is that the a dexterity based? Or is that a... What, what is Just that? roll a d20 and add your ranks. Yeah, well... I rolled a uh, 2 and added the 8. Okay, so that's the ten. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so if that's, that's not it. if that doesn't hit them, then I will. That's a failure. You need an eighteen. All right, then I will go ahead and do this. Okay. Because this is important, and I do have yeah, multi was... ta- multi attack effect on this. Uh, that's not really going to do anything. Well, I mean, let's hit each a, one. That's what that I was. Problem. We're not God, doing, like, discrete attacks on things. You're not taking points off. It's you've got to make a check that exceeds 18. And right. That's the, and uh, that's that's still going to be a failure. 
No, it's and not. No? It's a 21 because you spent a hero point. Oh. Okay, so there you go. So that um. another degree of success. That gets you up to four. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get on the computer and see if I can send a signal to, to end the hibernation process. Okay. Go ahead and uh, make me a power check with your, I believe it's control electronics or something like that. Yeah. All of us over here brute force it at blast. He goes, why don't we just hit the open button right here? Yeah, there's a button right here. <laughs> well, we're not computer savvy. Okay. <laughs> Actually, the sad part is my character has like a four in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So go ahead and uh, roll a d20 and add whatever your ranks are in that. You probably just have to use the advanced dice roller. Uh, just roll a d20 and add whatever your ranks in that power are. Yeah, Patrick, when I tried to click on mine, it wouldn't register it. It's doing all the other skills, but not that one for some reason. It doesn't do it for the powers in the power section. It has to be associated with some sort of ability that you can cast or cost through. And so, yeah. for example, if it's like accelerated healing or adrenaline surge on mine, the only thing that I can really do is if it's got an actionable in it, then that actionable should be on my actions page under attacks or something. You see, mine is under skills, and it still doesn't let me roll it. Do you have something under skills, and it's not letting you do something? Yeah. That's oh, weird. control ter technology. I do have it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. Like, I can do perception and everything else, but when I hit telekinesis, it doesn't do anything. Okay. So, that is the oldie 10. Well, I like the way failure. that existed. Uh, I see a hero point. You could extra effort to roll again. Uh, or you could use the hero point to roll again. Or you could extra effort to try it again and just be fatigued. I'll try again. Okay, are you hero point spending the hero point? Okay, there it is. Yes, Alright, so roll again. If the dice is 10 or less, add 10. Yeah, 10 or less. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's going to be a 19, which is a success. Take those. You are at five successes and one failure. You're doing pretty good so far. Chris, do you, wait, do we have any? We have a failure? First one. Yes. Did. Oh, I thought you succeeded. I, I haven't done it yet. One of them did fail, though. Oh. Uh, or maybe somebody spent a hero point on that and redid it. Because there's only... It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't done mine yet. I will okay. go, go ahead and attempt it to brute force. I'm going to Adrenaline Surge. Right. Um, you see the veins on her body expand as her musculature kind of gets a little bit more prominent. Uh, and I'm going to try to pop this open with an athletics check. Um, for the basis of this, from what I understand, her athletics gets a uh, bonus of well, eight? Uh, 12. 12. 12. 12. Like it goes up to a 12. And so I should replace this bonus uh, with a 12 instead of a 4. Is that correct? Just put an 8 beside it because yours is fading. So you'll get that every turn. Like you'll go 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I just roll the athletics check. Per normal, and then what do I need to be adding here? 12 eight. to it? Or 8 to it? Yeah, you add it, it goes up to 12, but you already have 4. Gotcha. All right. So I need to uh, add 4 more to this, and that would be a 15. No, you need to add 8. Add 8. To the athletics check. Itself. Correct. Yeah. Oh, so it's a 19. Yeah. Okay. Which makes 6 degrees of success. You all succeeded. Good job. I'm going to give everybody a hero point. Um, Ace is going to go over to Fetch, because I think it's Fetch that is fatigued. I am. Um, and go, you know, that was a great job. You did a, you did marvelous in getting those things open. Um, and I am spending a hero point, and I am removing the fatigue condition. Oh, sweet. Right. Leadership. Yeah. 
The leadership's cool. I didn't know it could do that. That's really cool. Yep. yep. All right. So. I did it. Thank you. They do. As the tubes evacuate the liquid inside them, you hear and even feel the hiss of hoses and support systems detaching. The world around you goes blurry and you feel like you're falling into a dark void as you hear a voice speaking in your thoughts and you see a vision of a smiling, gentle young woman with kind eyes, her head completely bald. This is the voice you've been hearing. And it says, Hi, I'm Cloud. Well, not really. Actually, I'm just a memory of me implanted in your subconscious, and if you're remembering this now, then chances are that I'm dead, which is a real bummer. But then you're alive and almost awake, which is a win. Anyway, here's the thing. You're psyops. People with psionic power. You activated, you heard our call to come to Rook as a haven for people like us. My friends and me, that's Generation Zero. We were raised by Project Rising Spirit to make us into living weapons. We escaped, we took down PRS trying to do the same thing here in Rook. We made the city into a place for our kind, but we've heard government retaliation is coming, and, well, again, if you're recalling this, it probably didn't go well for us. But Cronus, he's our leader, and is always thinking strategy. I know, because I can always hear him thinking strategy, all the time. He produced this plan to firewall your memories, to stop Project Rising Spirit from brainwashing you, and to eventually trigger a way out. Focus, work together, and when you get out, Help others if you can. You deserve your freedom, and I hope we helped you get it. I know you might be scared, but you've got this. I believe in you. Be brave. Be valiant. The vision fades, and you gasp for air, suddenly sitting up in the newly opened tube. Now, does everyone have at least a plus two bonus on perception? I think so, but I just want yes. to say. Yes. Yes. Okay. Anybody not have at least a plus two bonus on perception? Silence sounds like no. You all notice as you sit up in this tube covered with this goo. All the lights, all the panels beside these tubes are flashing. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Have we ever wanted it to GTA? Well, we know there's a car outside that's pretty fast. Well, there was a car outside. <laughs> I mean, we can still hook it back up. All we got to do is put the battery cables back on. No, I mean, that was in the dream world. We were in the spirit world. Yeah, it might not, not be actually out there. be there. Yeah. It might but not I be mean, there. It might not be messed up. Fair. I'm going to go take a look. We know how to get into it. I man. mean, yeah, yeah I, I guess we, you know, the layout's Let's the same. Go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm with you guys. This sucks. Uh, I didn't get none of that on recording since it was all in my head. Um, time oh, to yeah. get the, the phone out and actually start recording. Oh, wait. there's You no don't phone, have a there. phone. Damn. Nope. So, time to uh, take a look around. So, uh, uh, if there's anyone outside of vision, I can see through some walls after a particular thickness to detect human or other life. Um, and I'll be doing that as we go. Okay, uh, I am in it. I am trying very hard to give Patrick another hero point because Captain Crunch, in his full hero form, has a jetpack, but you ain't got no fucking jetpack in there. Uh, so you're a little behind what you would normally be. Some moron put him in there with his full jetpack and see what right. just... <laughs> Turn it up. <laughs> Blowing slime everywhere. Did you put him in there with his power suit? Yeah. Dude, it, do it. Do it. it was 445. We were closing up. Right, I didn't want to peel a teenage boy out of a suit. I didn't know what was going on over there. I felt real uncomfortable. It's... Yeah, it felt super weird. I'm not going to lie. Alright, so I'm going to put some stuff on a map real quick. Uh, is it going to be exactly right? No. 
It's going to be awesome. Maybe. All right, is there a particular order that you're going out the door in? Um, Ace will take lead. Jules will be right behind with Vision. Uh, I'll follow from the rear. Goddamn I'll take Go. midpoint unless you want to take it, Patrick. And I'm sorry, Patrick, I'm super stopped up. Did you say yes or no? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Can you see new map? Oh. Yes. Yeah. So. See you come into um, a hallway. Fuck. And. In a literal dungeon? It's a basement. Jesus Christ. Look, there are not a lot of good fucking modern parking garage battle mats. So, Sir, I you, you get a... I challenge you, I will find you one. Send I, me six. Okay. I will. <laughs> and also, I didn't know where you were going to fight them. <laughs> Fair. So I grabbed something that looked undergroundy. I mean, it does look uh, underground. It looks I, like it's I, under I a tablet. I looked at the parking garage battle map. I got you. Well, this. congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for doing it when we've already got a map. <laughs> <laughs> um. Big one initiatives. I do. I would like some initiatives. I'd love to give you one, but Pokey's making on my mouse. You have to click on your character. I always remember this differently or wrong. We see these people with guns. Um, uh -huh. Are the characters on the ma uh, token layer or the map layer? I don't know. Well, you tell I, me. <laughs> I, I can't click it, so that's why I'm asking. Uh, which one are you? Mason, far, in, far back. Stop. Ant rolls to save the damn thing. So it is on the token layer. Alright. Uh, if you want to pull him off, I'll pull one out. Yeah, I will boop, delete him. Is that yours? That's mine. Okay, you got, can everybody else access theirs? Yep. Yes. Okay. Can you move them? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Everybody get on there. Anybody not on? I we're all there. Captain Crunch, Ace, Mason. For some reason, your name's not showing up. That's weird. Uh, Panacea. Do I not have the token associated with the character sheet? Is that why there's a problem? Yeah. Alright, that 
should solve some problems, maybe. It's still not going to put you. No, it did. Cool. Okay. So, fetch. Yes, indeed. Sorry, I had to look at something. Okay. You guys are going to be following me, and I genuinely hope. Yes. So let's be dangerous. Um, I can fly like 900 freaking feet, so... Wait, that's nice. I'm just going to move. Wait, how fast? Are you guys quick? Yeah, I am. Okay, you, you are. Y'all just found out you had power. All right. talk about this. Okay, that should do it. That'll do. Get right Check up in the middle of it. Yep, perfect. And I'm going to blast this crap out of everybody. So we just started blast. It's actually right. I think it's telekinetic burst. Yeah. Pretty sure that's it. I have no idea. Oh, it doesn't need to roll. It's a dodge yeah, thingy. Yeah. And that, that 23 is not right. That should be a... Uh, 18. 18, Hold yeah. On. All right, so I'm going to roll five of these. Okay. So one, two, two Come made back. it. Uh, two made it and two did not. So, uh, in Valiant, when you make the dodge save uh, against an area effect, you roll twice and take the better of the two numbers. So, I'm going to roll for the first one. Ooh. Help him. I don't know how to go off of that. Okay, so the first one made the save. Um, that's going to be this one over here because he's literally the first one. God damn. Go. Alright, buddy. He has one bruise because if you get hit, you take a bruise. Uh, and then let's Oh, I rolled toughness for all of those, and that was not what I was supposed to do. Well, let me see the numbers. Is it substantially different? No. It's exactly the same. So that's fine. I'm going to uh, put you back outside and shut the door. And this one over here is going to roll two toughness saves. And that'll do. Uh, they are going to take a bruise. But are otherwise unharmed. Alright, buddy. The, Go. The Go. others are going to get a single save. One's fine. That one's fine. That one's out. And her too. Yeah, uh, she goes on a different thing. Oh, he's out. It's kind of cool you could put that right on there. Is that under like that red box? Uh, if you right click on it and go down to the circle, not the gear. Uh huh. And click on it, it pops up all the things. If you click on the red circle, and while you still got your mouse hovered over it, you put a number in it, it'll put that in the dot. Oh, that's cool. All right. Now, Black Sheep is going to make a will. That can't be right, can it? It should not be will. What is it? It's for... Actually, you know what? I say that. It... Well, it's dodge because it's an area effect. Right. But... Um... She's got weird shit on her. Let me look up her character sheet. Okay, it doesn't say, but 
That's got to be four, right? Because it... I don't know how you would telekinetically affect their mind. Yeah, I don't either. I'll pull your brain out. Right. Yeah, it doesn't say, but I mean, it just... It, it seems like that would be a four thing. Um, yeah. Uh... What's your character's name? Uh, Fetch. What's her name name, though? Oh, I'm sorry, Zara... Zara Nassar. I may be mispronouncing that. What ability was it called? It's Telekinetic Burst. All right. There's not a Telekinetic Burst. There's a Kinetic Burst. Well, yeah, it. yeah, it's all under that same thing. Oh, the yeah, the kinetic burst, which yeah, just none of it lists what it. And it's a eighteen DC dodge resistance check. Yeah, but then they have to resist with. It's damage, right? So it's right, like yeah. Damage eight. They have to roll the 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 check and then resist damage eight. If they succeed on the dodge check, they gain a bonus die on the damage resistance check. Right. All right. She takes a burst. That is my turn. There we go, we did it. Yay. I'm just glad right. I had the book open. <laughs> <laughs> I the book open the whole game. Like, I can't, this character sheet doesn't have everything I want on it, but the book does. Captain Crunch. Oh, and I erect my little field, telekinetic field. Sorry, it's a free action, so. Captain Crunch, if you're saying anything, I can't hear you. Hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I'll just come right here. And... They have guns? They do. Alright, well, let's put a stop to that. I'm going to deactivate technology right here. Okay. I believe you roll. Yes. Uh, 15 will hit. That's an 18 they've got to roll against. They're going to roll. Uh, D20 plus the effect on what they've got. <coughs> this can't break the gun. I guess we'll see next time. Is there Russians now? Sure, why not? Oh, shit. Government's government. All governments, just government. Um, just keep cycling through classic bad guy trips. They'll be British, then Chinese, and you know. They're all generically terrorists, I guess. Right. Uh, One's a redneck. Yes. Right. But he has a weird power suit and he shoots pennies. Then at one's from Boston. I don't know. Like. It's... <laughs> all right. Uh, so she uh, sort of jump flies over by Fetch. Uh, and she is going to punch you. There we are. Uh, does an 18 hit your parry? It does. Okay. Uh, toughness DC 20. She should click this. Ew. Ooh. Um, let's hero point that. All right. Oh, for some reason it's still up two. I don't know why. I'm only showing one. Oh, I have it on my sheet. I think I have it there. Let me do this. Wait, why is that not working? I guess I don't know why I can't seem to get that to work right. And let's redo that. I was going to use that hero point some other time. Okay, well, that's going to be... Yeah. So I need to take a bruise. Okay, you said you hit the gearbox. 
And go to bar three, is that correct? Uh, no. Don't oh. hit the gear, hit the circle. Okay, then put it a value and just hit enter? Hit, hit the circle and, like, click the red uh, circle. Yeah. And then put the number in. I don't see a circle on you. Did it do uh, it? No, no, no. Uh, I mean, you can do that, but that's not going to show the red dot. Uh, go down and hit the, the circle below it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You and just then while you're off. hovering over that red dot, put a one. Oh, cool. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, all right. You spent your hero point. I had other things uh, I wanted to do with that. She's being mean. She is. She hits hard, too. Yes, she really does. Ace. Uh, Ace. Okay. Help. Don't get this um, in. Hearing a cry for help, uh, Ace, who... Oh, hold on. Um, can fly two kilometers per round. Sure. Um, comes out and basically is going to plow straight into her mm -hmm. and hold on a second um yeah i'm just going to um unarmed striker okay. and I'm trying to see Hold on a second. Um, I'm also spending one of my, uh, well, I'm spending my hero point to inspire all my teammates or all the people with me. We can do this. We can get okay. out of this. Now, that takes a standard action. So oh, it does? So to fly uh, up there and inspire and hit, you'd have to either be fatigued or spend a hero point for that. Okay. I'll hold, hold off then on doing that. Okay. I forgot. I forgot. That it does require standard action it does show yep. that. So I'm going to instead just try to hit her. Okay. And. Ooh. Ugh. I I'm going to take that back instead of using the hero point for that. I am using the hero point to try to redo that. Um... Now you can always instead of using a hero point, you can just use extra effort and accept the fatigue. I would rather not be fatigued this early. Okay. So, there that's a 22. That will hit. Okay, and the effect is 25. Uh, it's technically only 20 because uh, in Valiant they start at 10 and go. They levelize oh, everything. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, but even if you succeed, you still get the bruise. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, so she takes a first degree, which is two more bruises, uh, and she is going to be dazed, so she will only have one action on her turn. I'm going to throw a little snail on there. And Mason. All right, just trying to find out how, what our movement rate is. Uh, Does it actually It would state? be uh, six squares if you don't have any kind of movement power. You can make an athletics check to double that. Yeah, I think I need to. Does it count as an action? No. It's part of your movement. And you said athletics? Yeah. Yeah, you're trying to hit a 15. If you don't exceed it, you just don't move faster. Alright, well, uh, that sucks. You can double move to move farther, or uh, I think your uh, hard light objects have a decent range on them. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but I only see, I think, like one person. Okay. Well, one down. maybe two. Let me check. I know you could get that guy. I don't think you could really get anybody else. Yeah, Everybody no. else would Ball's have... just out of range. 
right. uh, now if you uh, if you had maybe uh, no that was 30 to get right there wasn't it Yeah, that was yeah. Yeah, okay. So you couldn't have gone any further down. All Actually, right. Okay, he could have if he if he's able to cut that corner. Yeah, it's all right. I'll just go ahead and make the attack. But then he'd be behind Captain Crunch. True. I'll uh hit this guy with a couple dodgeballs. Okay. Telekinetic dodgeball. I love that. Makes that poop sound. <laughs> yeah, and it's uh twenty-one to hit, so to be I don't know what the height difference is to so determine the. Uh, it'll be is. an eighteen. Okay, so it's only a two points higher for the damage, or for the yeah for damage. Mace is back there, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's multi-attack. Um, so his is. 14, so that's 2 degrees, so that's plus 2, so that would be a 20 he's rolling against. Tear him up. Hmm. That's not great. So he gets dodgeballed to oblivion. That's something thunk, that thunk. teenagers <laughs> are very, very familiar with. Yeah! Like, it hits him, and it, like, flies straight up and bounces off the ceiling and hits him again as he's falling. <laughs> My berries! Just... <laughs> it just bounces next to him and rolls away. <laughs> and then disappears. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, that's it for uh, Mason. All right, so now they get to go. I didn't get to go. Uh... That's yeah, fine. I was what? a five. Please help. But you're you're not in. Not on the initiative for any, for some reason. Why are you not on the? Go ahead and roll initiative. Again, click on your token. Make sure you got that. And yeah, he was two. there. I was a five for sure. I just moved it. How odd. You're not going up again like you did last time, are you? I don't know. No. I haven't yet. Like, I actually rolled really high that time. Okay. So... Yeah, that was weird. Where are we? Uh, we moved all the way back up to the top. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. There, there we go. go. Panacea. Oh, what's up? What are you doing? Walks forward. Um, and through bio-manipulation, I would like to throw a little bit of a stunning blast at me. Miss Black Sheep. I got a 200 foot range, and she's within range. Alright. Well, let's see it. Give her the shocker. And you hit. It's a... Let me see. Need a 20. That's not a 20. I would like a hero for it. Go right ahead. Dropping that on the screen for you. Oops. Delete that. All gone away. Roll it again. Uh, but that goes up to a 25, so that's a hit. She needs to make a fortitude against an 18. Yes. Uh, now, she has a real history with this. So. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, she's... All right. Now it's the Then, then oh. as a free okay. action, I would like to... Um... Execute a defensive roll as I ran that way, mm -hmm. um, providing me a plus three bonus on toughness checks. Which should be figured in. Hopefully. But just want to make sure that I set it. Alright. So, the trooper. Uh, there are three remaining. I'm going to go ahead and get to the. Put that on there. Um, hmm. 
what do they want to do? I think they want to blast some people. That tracks. Blast. All right, two of them are going for fetch, and the other one is going for ace. So. Uh, can I use interpose to take on the ones that are going to fetch? You can get one of them. Okay, then I'll do that. I'll get one of them. Now, Thank you. you can wait until one of them actually hits. Okay, I'll wait. Like the bodyguard in Torque. Mm-hmm. That one didn't hit. Uh, then I will that interpose that one. All right. Uh, it is a DC 15 toughness for you. Okay, now this is what I don't understand. My um, mm -hmm. invulnerability... Um, if I get two degrees of success on a damage resistant test, I take no damage. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so usually, regardless of how well you succeed or fail, you still take a bruise. If you succeed by two degrees, you don't. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, and then that's my okay. toughness. You definitely succeeded, so you shrug that one off like it's nothing. Now the okay. one that was actually aiming at you shoots at you and misses. Okay. Because these guys suck. And we're back to fetch. Okay. You guys are going to be moving up. Okay. Let me think here. Damn it. Okay. Sorry, I detected that for distance reasons. I'd still hit you, and I don't want to hit you. It'd probably be fine. Hmm. Right. He's tough, right? He's big boy. He yeah. can handle it. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. If I attempt to telekinetic move, like to where I try to pick them up, mm -hmm. I know it won't deal damage, but will it get what would it, what would it do to them if I try to lift everyone? I would let you use it as like a trip attack. Okay. I'm going to attempt to trip all of them. Okay. Uh, uh, is that perception or it's just area effect, right? I think it's area effect and it's... Okay. I'm double checking that to make sure. Yes, yeah, a 30 foot... Oh, that's the damage one, sorry. Um, telekinetic... Where is it? That's one object. No, that's right. Yeah, it's 30 foot radius... The DC is... It's only a 15. Okay. Yeah, screw it. Let's go for it. I'm going to so, try to lift everyone. I'm going to give them all a dodge to see if they get... Oh, that makes perfect sense. die on their resist. I'm trying to click on this so you can see it, but it doesn't... Nope. Yeah, yeah whatever. Okay, so there's three of the uh, troopers left. So I'm just going to roll for them first. Dodge, didn't dodge, didn't dodge. Okay. Uh, so, I believe, is it athletics or acrobatics on a trip? Yes, it is, and they get to choose. They get to choose, or you get to choose? No, they do. If you have improved trip, choose. you choose. Okay. So, they're going to roll athletics. The first one's going to get two rolls. Uh, so, that meets... So he's okay. Uh, and then the other two uh, beats it, doesn't. So this one is prone. Let's say this is prone. And did you want to move at all? Yeah, probably. I don't think I like where I'm at. Um, actually, no, I think I'm okay. I'm going to move back a little bit. You know what? Screw it. I am going to go ahead and do an extra effort. I'm going to take the fatigue back. I'm going to try to blast her. So I started blasting. <coughs> yeah, it's still not letting me do I'm going to have to roll it this way. Oh. Is it not in your attacks bar? It's, yeah, it's under range combat. Like, it's there. But... When I click on it, I, I mean, I, I like, okay, by the way, ignore that. Like, I can click like that, but I can't click 
telekinesis. Like, it just, I don't know, it doesn't do anything. Uh, so, let's see. In your attacks section at the top. Oh, there we go. Let me try that. Sorry. Okay, that worked. There we go. So, that does not hit her. Okay, that's... That does not hit her. That's all I got. And I am in a mood, but I'm sorry. Let me do this. Fatigued. Cool. All right. And then I'm going to step. I'm going to step a little bit further in because okay. she kind of is tanky. She sure is. Oh, did I put that on? Uh, oh, I'll put it on my character uh, sheet. I, I'm sorry. I'll put it on the. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Uh, Captain Crunch. Are you muted again? Nope, I just double moved. That's it. All right. Just moving on up. Ace. Um, okay. Um, I am just going to hit her again. Okay. I got a hole in her. Yeah. Looking for a 20 to hit. By the way, I, you, you did do the trip on her. I know she probably made it, right, though? Oh, but no. Uh, I, I'm, I'm positive she's going to make it. but So, she needs to make a dodge. Let's see. Uh, and that does meet, right? It's, yeah, it's 15, so it's not real hard. Okay. I just want to do something different than just constantly okay. blasting people. All right. So, she remains standing. That, I, I figured as much. I just, yeah. Alright, go ahead, Ace. And Damn. I roll the exact same thing. So, I am going to activate my complication um, of having a low self-confidence now that this has happened. Okay. And so... Uh, so, what's going to... So the what's pow the My powers stop working until I get myself back together. Okay. Uh... I'm going to give you a hero point for that. And we'll check on getting it back together next round. Hmm. Yep. Uh, now, that is going to lower your toughness. And yes, I know. Uh, oh, crap, does it? Right I don't like that. Uh, are you going to move away in your uh, yes. less than confident state? Yeah, I am going to move up here. Uh, all right. We'll see. She sees you running for the stairs, and she says, "Oh no, Kitty, you're staying here." And she flies up here, and she is going to punch you. Okay. Tell me if she hits. I don't think so. Okay. Twelve will not hit you. Will it? Uh, I'm trying to find... How do I do my dodge? Uh, it would be parry. Parry. And that's based on your fighting. So, unless you have enhanced fighting, which I don't think you do, it doesn't change. Yeah, I mean, I just have a six list here. So, 16. Yeah. So, okay. 16 to hit. All right. Mason? First and foremost, I'll move forward. Okay. And nope. Stay down there. Uh, I will attempt to uh, athletics it to get a little farther. Oh, there you go. Yep. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five. We'll say. Uh, I guess right here will be fine. And um, I'm going to try. Uh, see how all this works. Um, around black sheep, a box, well, no, actually a tube shaped like the uh, tubes we were stuck in, appears directly around her. All right. Uh, so I believe she gets a dodge against that. Uh, I 
It doesn't say. It says, uh, I form an object of hard light up to the size of a minivan uh, or so with toughness 8. All right. So I'm going to give her a dodge to get out of it so that it doesn't land. Uh, and... Uh, I know there's a, there's a thing about trapping, but I'm not looking shit up right now. So, dodge 29. She dodged. Okay. There's yeah. a lovely tube there. Yeah. And it forms, and she, she steps away from it, and she looks at it, and then she's like, oh, bullshit, no way. I want to figure out which one of you did that, and I want to kick your ass. Oh, and as a free action, I'll uh, activate my uh, hard light. Well, yeah, hard light shield. Okay. Uh, does your hard light shield look kind of like the light that you made the tube out of? I'm going to say yeah, sure. Okay. It's kind of, um, well, purplish, I guess, in color. Panacea. Gotcha. Um, the adrenaline surge, does that take an action to activate? I believe so, yes. I don't think it does. I could be wrong. I don't believe so. I, I don't know. I don't have it in front of me. It, says, uh, it doesn't say there's an action involved. That's the reason why I'm asking out the power. Yeah. And it doesn't describe an ability that would normally require an action like ranged attack or mm -hmm. any other thing. So I'm confused. But you are activating a power that is not mm -hmm. always on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it takes an action. And if I'm wrong, someone from the internet will likely correct me. <laughs> uh, I will not care, but it will happen. Because <laughs> what I want to do is I want to be able to use an athletics check to double move without the penalty. Right. Uh... And I think her I mean, you can, rush will do that just nicely. Yes, you can do the adrenaline surge, and then you'll be able to easily make an athletics check to move faster, but you won't be able to take an attack or take an action unless you extra effort and either spend your hero point or be fatigued for your efforts. That's fair. And then that's just with the plus four, there's supposed to be eight more on top of that. So okay. 26. So that is plenty. Uh, double your movement speed, um, your ground movement speed, if you have flight or anything like that. I do not. And then from here, um, that's her regular movement with the, with the athletics check. Athletics check. And because he's action surge, it's an action, so I can't dash or anything more. So that's her turn. Right. Okay. Outside of the defensive role. All right. It's the troopers. Uh, so one is going to attack Fetch, and two are going to... Well, one's going to get up. Uh, so let me remove... Prone from him. That's his movement. Uh, these two over here are going to attack Panacea. Uh, this one is going to attack Fetch. So we'll go over here first. Eight does not hit. Six does not hit. Uh, other one going for fetch. 20. Yeah, I'm positive. Yeah, 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 it does. It does. All right. Uh, so DC 15 toughness. Dang. Okay. So you will take two bruises, uh, and you will be dazed. Which doesn't really do anything more than just the fatigue that you already have. I'm going right? to do that. I, yeah. No, no, Days will take an action. Oh, Days right? takes your action away. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm going to do that because I don't release another symbol. 
Oh, whoa. I don't yeah, want to ooh, be dead. That. All right. So that's them. Fetch, it is now your turn. I grow angry with them. What do you do about it? Nothing. What do you do about it? That's right. Okay. I need to protect my friends, too, though. So... Problem is the burst. I can't control it. I'll hit you guys. Actually, how far away are you? I'm sorry. I'm really not trying to slow you guys down. I'm just trying to make sure I can get to a position where I don't hit you. Dude, seriously? Okay. 30 feet's too big without selective. It's almost like you're not super well trained with these powers. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's not. Okay, I'm going to attempt to... Got you guys coming after me, so I'm actually gonna try to hit her because she seems like the bigger threat, to be honest. So I'm gonna tend to telekinetically blast. I'm gonna blast it. Can All I right, this fire away. So, no, I can't. Okay, so unfortunately, I can't. Okay, I don't think I hit her, but well, uh, I don't know. 18? No. Oh, okay. It's 20. Mm, okay. Uh, did you want to move any? No, I think I'm good. Um, uh, your days will drop off at the end of your turn. Got it. So, but yeah, I got to say I also couldn't move. Days off. Got it. And Captain Crunch. Here. Uh, deactivate technology here. Okay. You got to get both of them? Yep. It's a, uh, it's a broad attack. Well, that means you can shut down all kinds of technology. It doesn't necessarily mean you can hit more than one target. Oh, fantastic. Is it an area? Mm -hmm. Or is it just a targeted thing? It must be targeted because it doesn't have uh, an area attached okay. to it. Okay. Uh, so which one are you hitting? Well, in that case, screw it. I'm just going to like this off this bitch. Okay. That is a hit. Uh, so she is saving a toughness of 18. She hit exactly 18. So she will take another bruise. Put that on the sheet so it takes it. Light and boy being powerless. I just don't have anything that can give you your powers back. I, I, I'm not as inspiring as you are. Hmm. All right, Ace. Um, okay. Huh? How do you get your confidence back? The thing does not tell me. Okay. Um. um is that a recharge? No. Nope. Yeah, it just says um, it stops working until you can pull yourself back together. So maybe you got to take um, an action to pull yourself together? If you want to... Okay, so I will say How this. About if, I, I, I'll, give you a couple, I'll give you a few options. You can either take your round and just, like, get your shit together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can take an attack, and if you hit, that will give you your confidence back. Okay. Well, I, I doubt I'm going to hit because what I'm going to do is use my defensive attack, mm -hmm. um, which takes five off of it, um, and then it I will take try up to, to five. It doesn't have to take all of it, but and I'm going to take all five so I can get the okay. five on my defense. I don't blame you, dude. Yeah, that would be that's for your dodge and parry. That's not for your tough. But I actually uh, that take five off that, so that'll be an eighteen. 18 does not hit. Okay. Takes 20. Okay. I see um, a hero point. <laughs> I see a hero point. He's like, I don't want to take No, no. Hero points. Okay. Not this time. All right. It is her turn. And she is yeah, standing in front of you. Now your parry is going to be five higher. So 21. She missed. Mason. 
Oh, it's back to me again? Yep. Let's see. Uh, a meter's about three feet, right? Sure. All right, so eight meters. 24, 25 feet. Five squares. Shit, let's see. If I drop it here. Yeah, you got the same problem I do. Alright, I'm going to drop it here. Um, I release. Well, no, this says it comes from me, so never mind. Let me redo this. So I will move from here. I will go ahead and do the dodgeball thing to these two. Okay. Dun, dun. Uh, so it's minus two on your attack for both of them. All right, so it'll be a 22. 22 will hit. Yeah. Uh, roll, roll for each. You, uh, hit, you hit this one for sure. Uh, okay, I got you. Critical and on the other. Crit the second. Knock the okay. crap out of that guy. So, this is for the first one. This so is how Ace one. hit me last year on Dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> Ball like warps around his face or it fires off. Okay. The first one, looking for an 18, gets it. So, only one on him. Uh, the second one, going against a 23, gets an 18, so that's a miss by two. Okay, so this one... Would that not be higher with a, being a crit? That's why it's a 23 instead of an 18. Copy. Uh, this one goes up to... Three, and he is stays. All right. And uh, see. as my free action, I will maintain the hard light. Okay. Panacea. Okay. Panacea will transition from here to here. Uh, and I would like to use uh, my healing action oh, sweet. Thank on you. Uh, our friend here. So uh -huh. I reach out and I touch her back. And it says I need to make a healing check. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's a treatment roll or some other roll to be able to... D20 uh, plus 8. Plus whatever your healing range mm -hmm. is. Perfect. So that is not... No. So I just detour. Cool. I rolled one. Ouch. Plus uh, eight is ten. Uh, plus eight is nine. Mm -hmm. That does nothing. Uh, and I That's would like to hero point. point the hell out of that. Yeah, I don't blame I, you. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. Okay, uh, so that is a 21, and Just, I believe your DC is 10? It is, 10. at every 5 above, so... Okay, so that's 3, so that will remove that's all, of them. all of your bruises. Dude, thank you. Sweet! There we go. I have no idea how to do the removal part. Okay. Just Oh, there we go. Yeah, you just click on it, it'll clear it out. Thank you so much. Yep. All right. Now to the troopers. They are. They are. They are such troopers. Yeah, okay. They are troopers. They're trooping a lot. Uh, before Panacea stops, she says, "It's okay. I can take care of everyone. Just blast them all." So I started blasting. Now, you can only heal someone once per encounter. Per scene. Yeah. yeah. You so can't extra are, effort to do it again, though. She's, effort, yeah. she's my first to heal. Thank All you right. very much. Uh, this one is going to attack Panacea. Oh, the hell 
she is. Uh, she now, is. you are vulnerable while you are healing. I don't know if it says that. On it the doesn't. It does not say that uh, at all. Um, and to my knowledge, I didn't know that it was something that I was still having to do. I thought it was done within my turn. Because it's accelerated. Yeah. Uh, it's it's apparently an edit they made, because, yes, yeah, not on that sheet, but... Really? Yeah. Um, Alright, uh, since it's sad. not on that sheet, I'm not going to use it in here, because I'm trying to run that. Alright. Okay. Last to right. This particular preview adventure. So 24 yeah. is going to hit. You need to make a toughness. Uh, no, DC I'm going to interpose that. Okay, you need to make a toughness DC 15. Got it. Because I think. Interposed? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little surprised she does too, but she does. I think it's because she has the same kind of like chance to resist that. Um, I don't think it's as good as his, but. Dang, what is up with me on this? All right. Uh, uh, so, two bruises in a daze. Got it. I got to go back to this thing, which I think is kind of cool. So, two. And I'm just going to call that dazed, because I don't know what it is. That's fine. Got to save my healer. This one is going to attack Mason. Ten will hit. This one is going to attack Captain Crunch. I As cannot. a question, DM, I, I activated my Adrenaline Surge now mm -hmm. two rounds ago, and it's supposed to be fading. How long does it take to fade until the bonus is gone? It's one, it's per, one round per round. Until it's yeah. all gone. So right now I'd be at a six at my next round. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right. Uh, 20, I imagine, hits Captain Crunch. Uh, and you need to make a Toughness DC 15. You and me, Patrick, man. Like, I swear. I see two hero points. Out of curiosity, is there a point to him using? Because isn't he only going to get one bruise anyway? Or uh, would it be two? Uh, that would be two, and he would be dazed. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, so rolled an eight, so you'll add ten, so that's a twenty-two. You take one bruise. All right, and we're back around to fetch. Okay, you got this. I'm going to... I still... Okay, so I've got you... Mason, you're handling the the small bodies, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, I have been. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go for her again, because still don't like her being on top of him like that. Right. Well, technically, there is a uh, cylinder between her and him. Is it there? Like, is that actually a... Yeah, but it it, it was intended as a trap for her. Uh, so it is not a barrier between them. She can get around it. Well, she can get around it, yeah. I'm just saying it was sitting right there between them. I'm still going to blast her. Or try to. I just was Dang. meaning anything you blast, if it's an area effect, it might not hit him because of the the tube. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, my problem is my area effects like yours is huge. And yeah. it like I would hit everybody in this room. Okay. Will I, I tr yeah, I believe me, I would love to, but I just can't. Because I'll be right back. I've got to pee like a racehorse. So, all right. But y'all didn't know this was happening. I summoned my hero, mighty hero point. Kidding. All right, Captain Crunch. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Al. Mm -hmm. Um, that was uh, this guy, if that matters. Nope, not even a little. I'm the lecture of shock black sheep. And his day falls off at the end of the round. 
Shuffle away, sir. Shuffle away. Thirteen will not hit. Nope. I'm going to use my last heal point. All right. That'll do. All right. So eighteen. Only sixteen. Six now. And she is dazed. Don't think she's 15. I'm going to take that off. Alright. That. Ace. Um. I'm going to pretty much do the same thing as last round. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to do the same thing. Okay. That will hit. Okay, because that does have the, the minus in there. Yes. Okay. Um, now, so... That should be a 14 for the damage. Oh, no, that's the minus. No, 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 no. Yeah. So, should be a 10. All right. She will only fail that on a nat 1, but there's a 1 on every dice. That's not it. All right, then. By the way, I'm not Move dazed on. anymore. Now, uh, you punch her. You hit her. So yeah. that boosts your confidence. Yes. Uh, so I'm yeah. confident again, so I will keep going. That is now her turn. She's going to punch you back. But she missed with a 10. Okay. Uh, Mason. That boosts my confidence. Alright, let's see. Did damage last round? Correct. I'll try this again on these two over here. Try to you know cut down the amount of hits come uh, attacks coming out towards us. There we go. Crit on the first one. All right. And an 18 on the second That's one. The second one. So let's resolve this crit first. And you're attacking these two over here. Yeah. More dodgeballs flying out. Uh, it's <laughs> going to be one off of this one. That's a 14 against a 23. He's out. Uh, this one needs to save against an 18. That's going to be two lower than this. He's out. Yay. All right. As a free action, I will um, make sure my hard light's still going. All right, Panacea. Yeah. I'm okay if you want to just go whooping some butt. Chris, are you with us? Yes. Back from your turn. Excellent. I would like to uh, bio stun this guy. Okay. Thirteen hit. Thirteen will not hit. Damn. Can I extra effort and take the fatigue? Absolutely. Fourteen hits. Hell yeah. So. 18 fortitude or take affliction but he's a minion so if he fails at all he takes the worst which is incapacitated well hell he rolled under the incapacitate anyway so he's out <laughs> I'll take it so all the minions are down there you go uh, it's their turn but they're unconscious so they continue unconsciousness fetch 
I'm going to go for... I'm making sure I remember how this works. Yep. I'm going to go for all at attack. Okay. Every bit of it. Going into a, a kinetic blast on her. So, well, let me add the five somewhere in here. Nope, it won't. Um, Add five to that. Add five to the attack. So you definitely yeah. hit. Uh, and she's making a... It's 18, yeah. Toughness against 18. Ooh. Two more and continue to stun. And I'm good where I'm at, so... Okay, that... And Tap and Crunch. Only one remains. She seems to have no technology. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Uh, alright. I'll just go with a good old electric shock. Alright. Oof, nice. Indeed. You want to move it all? Move a little bit closer. Move a little closer, adjust the glasses. Next time. That's right. Ace. Punch a hole through. Um, okay. Um, I do not have um, all-out attack. That's not something you normally have, right? Uh, you can do up to two. Oh, without? Without. Without the advantage. Okay. Then I will all-out attack so that I can get that plus two. And it takes hit. two off my defense. Dodge and parry. Yeah. Okay. So, um. Now it says 15, but something I've done has done that because it should be 20, the 25 on this. Okay. So that's. Uh, so what? you hit, and that would be a 20. Okay. So she is rolling against the 20. Or, huh? I guess you can't do double digits. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Uh, so we'll call it that, and we'll keep track of it over here. Okay. She remains days, and it is her turn. So, does she have any kind of. Nope. She is just straight up doing what she does. Uh, she is going to swing at you again, Ace. Okay. That will hit. Uh, you need to make a toughness against a DC 22. Okay, so it's toughness. Fine. You only missed by one. So you'll take two bruises and you will be dazed. And dazed just means I can only do... You'll one, do one action, action on your turn. But it drops off at the end of your turn, so I'm going to drop right. hers off. Because no matter how many times you take the same effect, it's still just the same effect. Okay. And. Mason. Yep. No. Job for dodgeball. No. Yep. He kind of puts his hand, rubs his hands together, goes, I guess you're getting both balls in the face. Then he stops, he goes, no, that didn't sound right. <laughs> You're going to get pinched with the wound. Alright, so... There. Alright. That will hit. Uh, DC 18 toughness she's trying to beat. And she beat it with a nat 20. Okay, do I need to roll oh. a, the second no. ball, or is that... Um, no, uh, because that just affects how much you hit by, so I thought... and you only got two over, so it didn't tip to the next damage rank. 
Gotcha. Degrees based. Yep. Panacea. Free action, of I course. I took a uh, extra effort last round. Uh, am I able to take some form of breather this round and not do anything? And, and... Uh, you can do a recover and okay. clear your worst condition. Okay. But that's your action. Oh, Jesus Christ. And, and that's even with her accelerated healing that applies to her all the time, correct? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, the accelerated healing doesn't affect you, I don't think. She's got fast healing, too. That okay. I don't think that affects no, uh, it fatigue. No, it's not. It's just wounds. She only... I'm getting the hang of it. She's just a wound here. She doesn't yeah. have things to keep her going. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the recovery time this round. And pass okay. The rest. Uh, troopers are down. Fetch. The same thing. Um, maintaining the plus five to make sure we can get the hit in here. So whatever this is, plus five. Wow, oh, okay, some... twenty nine hits, and you're doing uh, all out attack, right? Correct. Yes. So okay. it's not going to increase the yeah you, yeah. So the damage is still toughness. eighteen. Oof. Uh, that's twelve. That does it. Boom. Down. Pick her up and shake her like a dog with a toy. <laughs> uh, you do that, and uh, a uh, medallion uh, kind of comes out of her shirt. And as you look at it, it is a uh, small enamel over some kind of metal. You're not sure what. Uh, black sheep. Mm-hmm. Well, Ace will rip it off and toss it to fetch. You know, a souvenir. <laughs> Grab it. Trophy. Sweet. It, I, I, I hate to be this way, but I'm going to have to call it personally, so... Yeah. Well, this is, this is the end. Uh, after this, you all escape out of the building. You go on, uh, and you do whatever it is young heroes do in Rook. Yes. Uh, so this was the Valiant Adventures preview. Uh, players, please, uh, at some point, give me your feedback. Tell me what you thought of the new rules, what was different. Uh, and uh, Well, just to give you one thing right now, I really like a lot of the changes. Yeah, there there was an aspect that we really didn't get into because I I don't really necessarily see anything that was going on as lethal, but there's an entirely separate lethal damage track uh, that has different effects. Uh, yeah, because I don't think dodgeballs to the face are considered lethal. Not it's... usually. <laughs> but. All right, uh, I realize it's late for folks, yep. so I will let you go. Uh, thanks. thanks for playing, folks. Uh, like Thank I said, you. please go give again. me your, your feedback at some point. Uh, folks out there, if you're watching, uh, please post a, a comment uh, somewhere to let us know what you thought of it. Uh, and we will probably be revisiting Valiant uh, after it gets released officially. But we will be back next Monday, though, for the Homeless uh, Heroes, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you can't wait till Monday for your tabletop RPG needs, we got Wednesday night's organized play, as well as Sunday we'll be returning to our 3.5 D&D uh, game, the Legacy of the Kingdom of Stone. So, with that, uh, remember we're in this adventure called Life Together, so please keep that golden rule in mind. Treat those around you the way you'd like to be treated yourself. And with that, have a good week.